know much and about Saxon Baylor. This year. But Baylor's been doing really well the last few years. Is Baylor always good? Oh, uh, yeah. Why would that. he leave Baylor and go to Nebraska? Money! The big Because the Big 12 is like... Dissolving? Essentially, yeah. It it's, is? It's, well, Oklahoma and Texas left. Oh, I don't... Okay. I don't yeah, know. and just like the UCLA and USC are coming to the Big 10. So the SEC and the Big 10 are going to become the two powerhouse conferences now instead of five or whatever huh. yeah okay it's whatever and i think they're the pac 10 i think is they might be doing some the, too. yeah uh oregon and maybe the washington one up there washington are uh in talks rumors maybe coming to the big 10 as well really hmm. yeah that's a rumor but i would not be surprised if this year um Something else happens to the Pac-10. The brass has got to be happy they're in that league now. Like they got on that bandwagon early. They did, but they're also been shit in the bed ever since. Yeah, they're just one big fucking cornfield turd. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it really is. Get, get all those corn heads and like kind of start coloring them brown and just leave a few kernels left. <laughs> I, I keep thinking it's like the smut. You know what that is? Smut. Not like pornography yeah, yeah, yeah. smut. But obviously, you're, like yeah. corn smut. This is like what what what's that? You don't know what it is? I guess not. Google it. It's like I can't describe it. You have to look it up. It's a delicacy in Japan or that Asia. That, that's what we were told, but it's definitely not corn like... smut. Is that with two T's? <laughs> I think just one. One T. Well, it's for sale. I just saw oh! a corn smut recipe. Ew! Oh, it looks like it's uh, like a fungus or bacterial yeah, infection. Yeah, it on looks the like corn. Um, mold. Uh, what, what's it when you got? Yeah, your, it looks like mold. It's dick, like a, some the, type of mushroom. It's definitely fungus. Yeah. What's that? Ah, oh, damn! I can't think. All of a sudden, corn smut is a plant disease caused by pathogenic fungus Eustaligo mitis that causes smut on maize or corn. <laughs> smegma. That's what the word. Smegma. It looks like corn. Corn smegma. smegma yeah. That's that's what the Huskers are now. And the Japanese eat this? It's, I, I, that's what the, I, I was also, told. I just saw a can of it in, in Mexican. Or Spanish. Excuse, yeah, I, I think it's Spanish. like a delicacy someplace. A like, of, yeah. What, honestly, we used to like fucking throw it at each other and shit. It was Try fucking the, nasty. That, that sounds bad. The Mexican Isle. I, I, was, I mixed... International. No, it says Mexican on the thing. Even though... At, is Mexico fair. international? At Family Fair. Yeah. It says Mexican. Mexican slash international. No, no, the, the aisles. The, no, the, the the section says Mexican. Next it says Asian. Next it says. It didn't say Latin. No. Fair. All right. At least it didn't say Mexican X. Right. So corn smut's fairly healthy for you. It has uh, an essential amino acid that's completely absent in corn, but is somehow corn smut is packed with it. <laughs> Lysine is important for the body's immune functions that can help ward off colds during stressful times. Hmm? Bodybuilders use it uh, to help build new muscle and repair damaged tissue. Hello. What? Hello. So eat some rotten corn. Hello. It's uh, probably something you can't find now. It's always like during the wet season. They call it Mexican truffles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds like blue oh, waffles. No, that's actually Did Spanish. you look at images too of it? Like, yeah. yeah okay. gross looking. It's, I wouldn't want to put yeah. that in my mouth. Qu- queen. Unless I was queens. desperate for some lysine. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do my best to pronounce this. Quint. Quint la coche la costeña. <clears throat> Huita la coche corn Mexican corn smut. Thirteen ounces. Does it, it look like coche? smut? It looks like the jalap- the can of jalapenos I buy. The ha- can of jalapenos I buy at the store. But it's corn smut. Huh. And it's twenty dollars. Wow. For one can? Well, Jesus. What the fuck? Why don't you just go out in the field and make your own smut? Yeah, just suck, it off, your butt. suck it off the cob yourself. Can, can you order that for me, please? Well, <laughs> you can pay me like you didn't pay me for the fucking comedy show. Were you, oh, shit. I never <laughs> did, huh? Hey, I asked you even how much I owed yeah, you for 20, that. Yeah, uh, $22. $22? Yeah, because you got pissy in my fucking face about the extra $10 <gasps> for the thing. And you're all pissy. I'm not paying the fucking fees. Are you sure I didn't pay you that night? Because I was pretty drunk and don't remember no, any of that No, you, you bought... I think you bought uh, no, no. We talked about because that was payback for the um, New Orleans ice cream stuff we got at the at the fa- at the farmers market after Frolf. Frolf. Oh yeah, remember that? So we're equal. No, that for for that. 
No, it's not a thirty dollar cup of ice cream. Okay, thank you. Uh, it was like a solid ten. I think. So welcome to trash talk. Eight, welcome to trash talk. I we owe bring John. our personal trash on I the spent, show. I still yeah. remember it was eight dollars for the. By the way, have you had the New Orleans shake ice? Like, no. It was fucking amazing. Yeah, it was good. It was it's, good. It's ice cream, like ice cream, ice cream. And then shaved ice with like flavor or whatever or whatever. Then ice cream. It's layered shaved yeah. ice ice cream, and they dump all the cool you know chocolate and you caramel. Think you it's could, so good. You can put your corn smut on it. Oh, <laughs> top with some corn smut. <laughs> that's like that's like putting gold on a steak. It turns it from a forty dollars steak to a thousand dollars steak. You know, gold. On I'd rather just drink a bottle of Goldschlager at that point. True. What if you filter Goldschlager through a steak? How you fill it Would through you a drink steak? it? Filter it through. Like How you, you just through a steak. Though? Filter it. Like use the steak as a filter with vodka. Why don't you just use a filter? filter. Steak marinate. Just pour it all okay. over it. Marinate a steak in Goldschlager. And Ugh. then drink it. Drink yeah, the you steak. cook it. Oh, at that point, you, you probably will drink it. that steak. It you might gotta, break down enough. You have to, to cook it very quickly so it's like you know rare. It would just medium, blow up because it's full of alcohol. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think it would just... It's air fryer only. beef smut Oh, but it'd be kind of like minty oh. and stuff. Beef smut. No, Derek. You're, no, you're, is Goldschlager minty? I thought that was Dumplevinsk. Is Goldschlager... Oh, uh, yeah. flakes in it. Yeah, yeah. I Goldschlager know, is peppermint. a little uh, minty. It's a peppermint-ish flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I've it's had Goldschlager little... once. I go, cool. I don't understand it. And then I stopped. I didn't ever have it again. No. It's the gold. No. You got to shit gold. That's why. You, you have to drink you the whole bottle. You don't shit gold, though. It accumulates in your Every time I drink enough of that stuff, I'll be sitting there on the toilet and you hear, ting, ting, ting. Those are anal beads, buddy. Because you drank a bottle of gold. Pretty small anal beads. Well, there are gold anal beads now. Derek also shits little hamster pellets, so what do you expect? Hamster pellets? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, a, like it's like a deer, just <laughs> little peanuts, yeah. little peanut poops. No, no, no. Little, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Shit out like a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? your plumbing must be fucking intense. At least not like, what, what if we digest like owls? We eat a steak and then oh, <laughs> pie, yeah. uh, human the pellets. The bones and stuff? Yeah, I guess we don't eat a whole, but never mind. So, I mean, some people just swallow things without eating. You swallow your smut without eating it. <laughs> Not, I mean, like chewing like, it? Or like, yeah, yeah, or like uh, oysters. Oh, like swallow. how Dan does his uh, crotum? What? Oh, oh yeah. Crotum. No, that's like powder, though. Yeah, that's, that's not a... Yeah. That's hmm. smutty, so... <laughs> I want to see this now. Is it Okay, what is it? Is it like... Do you have te- what te- texture of corn It smut? was soft and did, like smelled disgusting and uh, smeared. Like, I just remember... Oh. We throw it at each so other. It's not just smeared. And it was like it was. I just remember fucking getting hit with it Ugh, everywhere. It, and it's just gross. We'd always we you cut it out no matter what. Every time you see it, but we never sold it or ate it or anything. The just, corn that it came off of. Look, sounds like you wasted yeah. a lot of money and didn't even. It know. wasn't that Slut gold. Dude. It doesn't happen often. So when you see it, you're like, whoa, cool. You know, like a whole field. There's one smut. <laughs> there's gold in their corn. I don't know. <laughs> right. What if you? Oh, hey, that might be a business idea. But but no, here's the Removing thing. Removing smut I, for people for like. Have hours, you ever ran through a cornfield like a green cornfield? Yeah, you know, fucking hurts. Yeah, it's like fucking razor blades just everywhere. So you have to find it on the edge. You know, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. It was super rare. Yeah, okay, that's what you're saying. But hmm. just like the Huskers in a good season. Huh. What? Just like the Huskers. Because that's what I, com- I started comparing smut to the Huskers. Like oh. We're just a bunch of smut right now. Corn well, smut. I made a joke about filling in the corn head with brown so it looks like a giant turd with corn in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the that. Turd, the turd, turd hat. The smut corn. So basically just have, a, have the corn hat with a fucking big old... <laughs> ugh. Tumor on shit it. on it, you know? Just had to <laughs> cut it off. Or, or was Scott Frost the, the smut? Well, you have to be determined. I don't know. Schindler, maybe even. I think Nebraska's days are just done. That was all last century. No, man. The yeah. problem is we have enough money and recruits, facilities. We just need some good coaching, you know? If we have and, all those and things. Repetition. So have then you heard. Why are we having such a hard time getting a good coach? Well, because we got a bad coach. Yeah, have bad, you heard about bad, all the we've rumors? Had a bad coach the rumors for and shit. Years. <laughs> The rumors about Scott Frost? Have we? Have you heard about that stuff? What recently? That past week? What? Just all the fucking around he was doing and drunk all the time. <laughs> I would if I knew I was going to get fourteen. You're paying million me fifteen million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> well, he also just came back to his like college town, so he just like met up with a bunch of his frat boys. Fuck yeah! That have been like you know working at wherever in Lincoln this year. Why not? I know, but but he just kept drinking with them like all the time. 
Like, Frost went back to college when he came to Lincoln. You know? I would. How old is Frost? 40, 30, 50? Yeah, I think he's in his 40s. He might be young 40s or something. Holy Shit, all when I know when is... he last played, like 97 or something, or 98? Yeah. All I know is he's beefy. So he's probably around 22 when he graduated. Didn't he go pro for a little bit? He might be almost 50. Um, did, no, I don't that, know. I he think you're thinking of uh, Couch or Crouch. Crouch. Yeah, I know somebody hurt their finger or something. I remember reading. No, right he he was uh, benched. I don't remember by who, and he was just like, "No, I'm not. I'm starting or whatever," and quit. I think. Oh, oh you know about Frost? He went to Oregon as a coach. He he left Nebraska, went to Oregon, then he came back to Nebraska to play. You mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm talking like no, bro, no, no, no. Bro, that's bro. not true. As a coach, no. he was at South Florida. Um, he started out somewhere else, like Stanford or somewhere dumb, and transferred back to Nebraska. His junior. He's from Nebraska. He yeah, didn't yeah, choose yeah. Nebraska. He went to. I'm pretty damn sure it was Oregon. Maybe, maybe. And then he came back. Oh, is so after his freshman or sophomore year? Uh, yeah. After no, he came back junior and senior. All year I know is all. that's a sweet career path. Play a game. Get out of college. Go pro. If you don't go pro. Coach the game for a lot of fucking money, and then it's hard to coach, man. Not everyone can coach. Well, clear, clearly, yeah. <laughs> he was OC for Oregon before he got the job as the head coach over at uh, UCF. Yeah, and then I want to say he was with Chip Kelly even when they were like he went down to USC. Off, off for, he went down to USC for a little while too, I think. So God damn, I can't help but think, but that damn it. If I played I'll, football, I probably would. I'd probably be getting fired by Nebraska right now. How come you didn't play football? I'd have an opportunity. There were no, there was no program in my shitty private school. Really? No yeah, football. The program? only, the only football that was available was a uh, joint, vet, a, a joint high school with like Wahoo. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. And, like, there's always a way. And even homeschool kids are allowed well, to. We're, look, like, come we're to doing it, and like this is before I could drive too. And so my parents were like, "Fuck you! <laughs> I'm not gonna pick you up." And then take you out to fucking Wahoo every fucking day. Because mm-hmm. cause, cause there's no field at the school I was at. Well, yeah. You had to go to Wahoo every day. They, there the, wasn't like a public bus like, you well, could take? I was like, how we car, you know, carpool and stuff. And my parents like, then you're going to get home like 9 o'clock and you suck as a student anyway. <laughs> you know? So you're never going to get anything done. And I'm like, good point. Also, everybody that was on the team, I fucking hated. There was also that. So I should have played mm. so you could beat them up. I would thought about that, yeah. but That's exactly what happened... Um, in Skyler, there was some other small towns near Skyler that had really good football programs because they were so small. They were like class D, so mm-hmm. they were eight man football, and they were fucking all these farm boys that oh shit uh, knew how to play <laughs> football and like they they would run it up on every team and uh, everyone in the school played football at those small towns. Even if you like hated football, you were on the football team just because that's like what everyone did. Yeah. But um, they would give some kids that didn't want to play football and got picked on a lot in the small towns to come to Skyler and play. Not play, but just come to school here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it right. happened like multiple times. Like, That's a, oh, you live out there, but you have to come way up here to school because oh, they're I fucking see, yeah. picking on you. Ah, oh, but know. people are picking on you here too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a but there was also a lot of cool people that were like still – you make friends because not everyone played football in, in Skyler. True, true. If, if, if I had gone to a public school, I probably would have played. Football. Everyone in ninth grade played football, and then by the time oh, everyone got to senior year, there was like four seniors usually. Oh wow, got him. Yeah, four or six. Why they know. they drop out or just leave? Like, no, just don't like schools? playing football. Oh, football. I'm talking, yeah, I'm thinking school. Okay, football. No, yeah. There's still you know. Huh. There was 93 in my class, and that was a pretty big school class. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably bigger now, though, for sure. Statistically, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Either uh, way. All right. Cool. Okay. I would want to play that one-minute topic <coughs> again. Oh, random, random I like, generator? I want to do that again. Yeah, why have I random generated? Random generator topic for a minute? Minute, okay. A minute? Minute topic? I thought about that because we did that one time. It was fun, and it was, I, I think it was pretty few times. No, we played. We played. We, we, named, played we did. It, we definitely did it twice in a row. No, we played. Played. Name that turd, and then the minute topic. Also, I don't remember at all. Name that fart. So. Oh, it is so a fart. You don't even remember what we were doing. No, we no, we played. Name that poop. We had to find it. You described the poop. Fart. No. Oh, there was probably a poop one in there too. We played scat. We scat. played the scat, the scat one. Game. That was about Amber Turd though. Yeah. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember that? Yes. That, that, was one, like, was, staring that one was turds. fun. Uh, what else could we identify? Tracks? Assholes. 
Oh. Celebrity assholes. Animal <laughs> assholes? <laughs> Celebrity ah, assholes. There's a decent one because I wanted to talk about this anyways. What was the last movie you watched and how was it? Okay. I saw Love and Thunder. Oh. Have you seen it yet? No. Uh, I don't understand what everybody's pissed timer about. on. Hold that thought. I don't want you getting pissed and being like, but you made mine short. I don't even know. One minute. Okay, I don't know why everyone was pissy about it. It was fucking amazing and hilarious. Yes, it was a little slapsticky to begin with, but it was also a really fucking good story, and it was kind of sad and also really funny. Go. Well, I thought he gets a whole minute. I, is it one minute per person? Or well, minute? he donated you 45 seconds. I don't even know the last movie I saw was, though. All right. Okay, Maverick Top Gear has an expansion for I Ace saw... Combat 7, so I've been playing Ace Combat 7 with all the dark stuff, with all the Maverick shit, and it's been super cool. Bye. Sorry, I'm so excited about that. Okay. So I watched uh, Father Stew with Mark Wahlberg, and it also has uh, Mel Gibson in it. Uh, he starts off as this guy that loses a brother early on in life, turns to alcoholism and boxing, and thinks he's going to be a professional boxer, but really never makes it anywhere past like a basic B level. Then he decides to move up to Hollywood when he finds out he's an infection inside of his jaw, finds God through a girlfriend that he's chasing, and then he uh, be- tries to become a priest after a horrific accident uh, that he barely survives, and he thinks he sees something with God. And uh, Jesus. after he gets accepted into the priesthood, he then comes down with something like ALS and then dies. It's yeah, based God on a true like story, me. and he actually makes the priesthood. God doesn't like that guy. Wow. Father Stu. It was actually it starts off kind of funny, a lot of cool boxing and stuff. And then like then it sort of kind of reminded me of that movie we watched, uh, was it Sharon Stone called Faith or something? And uh, oh, who's the guy that had the drug OD? They're like father and sister. Uh, at the Catholic Church, there's the same way. He's like basically he's think, abusing little boys, I think and even up. some of the parents know it, but what? they allow it to happen. Oh, I think a minute's up, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> Is that the Red State one? Red State? No, what? it's called. It was like I thought it was Sharon Stone, and she plays a nun. That's a hot nun. What makes you think I've seen this? I would. Remember you brought that. it and said like, dude, I want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I don't remember this at all. It has the big dramatic ending when, like, the lady that's, like, the stickler nun trying to protect these kids finds out she's not going to win. And then she, like, at the very end, the dramatic scene is her, like, oh, God, I question you. You know? (laughs) Dude, I do not remember this movie at all. Oh, my God. You brought it for us to watch. I am like way into figuring out what the hell this is now. Okay, I guess we're done with the game. All right, <laughs> now we're off on a tangent. Of, you, you, it's your movie. I still don't even know the last movie that I've seen. That's what's kind of sad. I, yeah. I keep thinking of like the in theaters. I watched the Batman. Um, yeah, what have you pirated recently? It doesn't have to be a new movie. I've been watching yeah. more TV shows. I can't even like right. think. Yeah, of... yeah, I, yeah, I, I, the first movie I watched in a long time was Maverick a couple weeks ago. I and... I pirated uh, the Tropic Thunder not that long ago. <laughs> that's a great one. Yeah. That was that was pretty awesome. God, that's a good movie. I love that movie. What's the name of the actor? Gargle He's Balls. in Cable Guy. Jim uh, they were he was in some of the basketball scenes. Jim He's Perry. also in Boogie Nights. The dude that tries to put a move on Donnie Wahlberg, Marky Wahlberg, or whatever his name is. Donnie and, Wahlberg. Oh, I don't know that guy's name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he passed away a couple years ago. What? Oh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour. Oh shit! <laughs> He's in this movie for sure. Oh, oh okay. Uh, oh, I saw the first episode of Andor last night. Oh, I watched all three. Okay, I haven't seen this last second. night. Okay. I got I got stuck into it. I was like, uh, oh, second one's starting. I'm okay. gonna watch this. I'm, I'm curious because, uh, dude, it's good. Is okay. I mean, it's I like it. called Doubt. Oh, Doubt. Oh, I remember that? Didn't yeah. that win some Oscars? Yeah. 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 Uh, Man, Meryl Streep. Yeah. Um, How dare you confuse the two? Whatever. Uh, that makes a lot more sense now. Um, I don't want to devolve into Andor, but I just watched the first episode. I go, okay, this is clearly a spy thriller, or that's what, but just set in, in you know, Star Wars. And I, so I, I knew that going into it. That's why I was like, okay, nothing really happened, but they set up a lot of stuff t- to happen. So yeah, I mean, that. that's anyway. what I am uh, in, in hopes for. There seems to be a lot of setup at this yeah. moment, so, but I think number three pays off. I like, Things come uh, together a little bit on number three. Like it's almost kind of like a complete story in a way. Yeah, what's it? I can't so, remember his name. Diego. Uh, damn it, Lunar, Lucar. Oh, Diego Luna, Luna, Diego Lucar. I like him. No, he's, no, that's someone I know. He's a very good actor. I very much like his acting. I loved him in Rogue One. Um, yeah, 
Uh, I, I liked Rogue Solo. One not that long ago too. He's like a he's like a more like gruffy Han Solo. Um, Less sarcastic. He's definitely gruffy in this one. Um, um, so you saw the droid. I like that droid. Yeah, the droid. Cool. As soon as I saw a droid, I'm like, oh, they're introducing a new buddy droid. Yeah, because you got R2 is the original, obviously. Whatever. Then you got BB-8 yeah, for the kids, new, the new generation. Then you have a DB-1 for the gamers from uh, Fallout Order. Mm. It's a little tight. Well, well, I don't even. Do you know, did you catch the name yeah. of this one? No, but I like he was like basically a rolling dick. Because he's got the wheel balls and he goes, and he expands. Of course, expand, that's what you would see. Yeah, you he expands see that. and goes, yeah, he's got yeah. He, he's got an ET neck, that. but his whole body Did is ET. He, he talks. I love the way he talks too. I don't know. I just like. Yeah, I'm surprised oh. you didn't watch Andor. Uh, I forgot it was even out. So now I will, after Cyberpunk, I'll probably watch that. Yeah, it's probably a solid hour and a half just to watch all all, uh, all I don't, or whatever. Uh, damn, I want to no, get Cyberpunk. But I also want to get keep playing the play, playing the game. Uh, no, I want to I want to sell you on Andor right now because okay. it seemed it seems like there is some good writing and setup happening, and um, I like the the cinematography of it so far. Yeah, like, it feels like a real world that these people are living in. You know, even though there's like the guy that's beating on the rock thing that's like their alarm to get up. Maybe you didn't see that part or whatever. Blanking. But it's just, um, it's kind of the Star Wars I've been waiting for, you know, like a little gritty, just a little more like feel like it lives. Well, more, like people more, live you mean in this more world. real world as in not super powered. What planets are they on? Yeah. A lot of them. Um, so far, lot, so far, I don't even remember the names of them. I don't are know. Ones, are, they, are they on planets that people will be familiar with? Nope. I don't think so. Nope. No. New nope. places. New places. Because, like, there's, like, a corporate world, his, like, home world, I guess, that he yeah. lives at. And so then that's actually my favorite part right now world. is uh, there's, like, this uh, empire, but they're not – they're, like, um, security guards for the empire. They're, like, uh, contractors. But they're kind of, like, you know, run, like, the empire in a way a little bit. And you can – I just kind of, like, feel like, oh, these guys are going to become stormtroopers, you know? Do you feel the force? Ooh. You know, okay, okay, okay. Is there um, force? No, there has been no force. Yeah, that's yet. the idea. And that's fine. Is, I mean, I think, yeah. I think it's supposed to take place for like, f- I think five years or something. Like, maybe not this season. I think it's supposed to be. Like, well, it, it, it can only go five years. Setting up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very true. But I think they're gonna like start speeding it up or something, making them older. Um, but I, and we, I haven't even seen all the characters yet. Like, I, Moth that's a isn't good point. in it yet. I wonder how much time jumping they're gonna do. I think I think they're supposed to start jumping later because, but they're setting it up right now. I I, I don't I much like trends usually, but the trend of shows that jump time, I'm really digging. Like uh, House of Dragons, House mm, of the Dragons. Yeah. The, the next episode's a jump. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, the big one. It's not even the same actresses for the the, right, the no. queen and yeah, it's completely whatever different, different cast too. Except I'm, I'm both assu- queens. I assume Matt Smith is going to be still be Matt Smith. I mean, yeah. Uh, so the both the, the, the king. I think both. I think he died the last episode. Honestly, no, he's in there. He's, he's in, in the there. Preview. He's in the preview. Oh, it's like the same actor. He's just like so, super. This, I didn't see a preview. There was no preview after the. Sh- after, there was no end credits. Oh, I, the, I watched all of that. At the end credits, the, there were the no behind the scenes. There is an. The there's an. On, there's I didn't an see online. That. Oh, John. I no, no, it on the, so hard. On the, the uh, it was so satisfying to watch. Pissed. God damn it. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good tease too. Especially like. Well, I don't know anything about it, so tell me now. Now I'm really gonna go and try. I mean. What's, so they're aging both right. the queens up, new yeah. actresses, yeah. and I think Kristen Cole stays the same actor. Though. Who's Kristen Cole, the uncle? <laughs> the, the, the guy the, who has dick wet once and wants her to add the night. throne. Yeah. What a little oh. bitch. What a little dumb bitch. Oh, we had sex one time. Hey, give up this entire goddamn planet. Fuck you. Yeah. Well. Take, come with me on my less. ship with oranges. Yeah. You know? and cinnamon. <sighs> And cinnamon, whatever. Yeah, like she's the fucking princess, dude. She told him she's, she's gonna like, be the queen have, or whatever. You know, what a simp. I have to work for the realm. She's the queen. She's going to be the queen, right? Yeah. In some I, I, way, I think it's funny how how Coriolanus Coriolanus. Well, it's kind of funny. It's Coriolanus, but there's also the Shakespeare Coriolanus. Have you seen that? Mm-mm. It's really good. Who's that? Uh, it's a it's a guy from ancient from Rome. I'm not gonna get to Shakespeare. Rome. But but the bottom line is, um, it has anus in the name, which makes me laugh. Uh. Uh, shit. And then it was kind of, and so he uh, was a gay beau, is a gay beau. No, his son was hilarious. a gay beau. Yeah, his son. Cor- what's, his, what's his son's name? Son was named, uh, Leonor or something. Oh, fuck. I thought that was. Oh, Leonor and Leanna or something. 
clean whatever. no oh no is it like we find out I was, at first as soon as you guys as, were you guys not expecting that soon, at no, all it was absolutely because as soon as i'm like oh what are they, did you guys know what are they talking about as soon as they start discussing Fish that i'm like and, or no it was uh it was the chicken and turkey or oh, goose or know. something oh yeah Oh yeah, yeah, but he prefers the goose, huh? <laughs> ha, that's fine. <laughs> but no, I was sad though, and the super sad though when his homie, his roommate, quote unquote, <laughs> his guard, his guard. Uh, so how would you guys feel about the uh, the wedding scene? And <laughs> yeah, nothing happened. I mean, I was like, I was waiting for like some crazy yeah, shit. Nothing happened. A guy had his face literally bashed no, in until no, no. it was a bowl of soup in the back I mean, of his we, skull. Well, if you weren't playing with your dog, you'd know we just discussed how sad it was when his roommate died. I mean, roommate. Yes. Yeah, I got you. Got it. You got the joke. All right. I mean, he was kind of asking for it too by going up to. I didn't think what he said to him was that fucked up. I thought he was just like, you know what's going on. He basically compared him. He's like, hey, I'm I'm fucking the prince or whatever. Want to be friends? And you're fucking you're fucking the queen. So let's be friends. But he's also like, well, you're fucking gay, and I'm not. You know, mm. that and also I think as also he was offended because he was like, um, well, you want me to be your whore? You know, he's a fucking king's guard. He's not even supposed to get his dick wet. He's not. Well, he's not supposed to father children. Pull out then. Well, they had tea for that. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was cool. How they, they play that. Why the, the English whole... always drink so much tea. I don't think that's I don't think, any, I don't think it's every tea. It's <laughs> English tea. Find out. It's English. Uh, it, <laughs> uh, uh, I like how they played that whole like it's uh, it's you might not like it because of it's not subtle but I did like how they just very blatantly pointed out that like she was delivered tea but they don't know why but by drinking the, by having it it was implied that she did bang Damon but she didn't bang Damon but she took the tea because she banged Christian which implied that she banged Damon I'm like oh okay I can follow this drama yeah I like that s- small subtleties and, and then, then the queen was like oh she did bang him but what did, what did you think about uh, Laris Strong telling her that whatever yeah ironic name huh do you think he looks wh- like, thank you he looks like Liv Schreiber with Palsy. There we go. The guy that was all hunched yeah. over and shit. He's got the jowls. He's got, he, he has a he's club all, foot. Yeah, it's all yeah. Foot. Club foot. Club foot. Yeah, so That's what they call. They call him the club foot. But does he have a club foot? Is he a Kaiser so saying it? What are you, Tucker Carlson? <laughs> I don't know. That's one major theory that he doesn't. He's faking the club foot, and this is in the books. I don't think they'll ever fucking allude to this in the show or whatever. To fake a club foot all the time. Well, because he's also like he's like he's the. Um, little finger, not little finger. Yeah, he, he's like the varies, like the um, spy master kind. Oh, yeah. He is. He is. I got real. Varys, yeah, he's a spider. Really, kind of, but uh, he is. He's definitely a parallel to Varys. I got the little finger vibe from him just because he's like, oh, yeah. well, Hulk so that's the thing though. Is he a little oh, finger I, or I is it a Varys? A nugget of truth. Oh jeez. Oh, oh he's yeah. screwed. But was it? Was it? Yeah. Whoa. Is he setting her up too, or is so he on her think, side? Was it Christian? The, the night dude yeah so like do you think he noticed the queen because they make the comment about the color of her dress where she's basically like showing up the place and making a statement oh everyone knows do you think that might have like driven christian too oh yeah been, what like, the fuck, fuck is that? dude like i told her that shit now she's wearing this what, wait, what was, oh, what was i didn't it? think about that wait, what, what was i think it? he's whoa, just whoa, whoa, whoa. upset what? about everything time about, time about, time her getting what married what the fuck is up with the, the queen's dress what the she green, wore green, and so? they make a comment during the show when she enters the wedding. She's wearing a big green right. dr- dress. Okay, and those are her house colors. A couple of the guys that not Targaryen seen... colors. Oh, yeah, and they traditionally okay. wear it when they go to war. I mean, honestly, oh. that's a dumb comment because it is just like their house colors. Like their flat, their banner yeah, is green and shit. I just noticed that. I, was, I thought it was like real fucking rude but of the queen to just like barge in the middle of the speech. Like, to interrupt fuck? him, but to also be wearing nothing but green and no like red, gold, black Targaryen colors is a different, definite like, fuck you. You know, I'm not happy about this yeah. essentially. But what what is she pissy about? Because she was girls basically lied things? to and girls being girls. <laughs> Because she's getting fucked by the Rhaenyra king. told her like I didn't fuck, you know my own. Right, but th- that's why. That's but why then she finds like, out she, you know, had sex implied. with the guard. Well, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so not only she thinks she fucked right, Damon and, she heard and the, the guard. The rumor about the tea. Okay, she said, they can't be true. Well, now we're beyond. 
now we're beyond the titties, dragons, and like stuff I can follow. Now I'm like, all right, I don't care now. Yeah, there was no titties. I, when in I was when week. I was younger, I mean, I'm sure, like I'd be way into the, all the political titties? the political shit of this whole thing. Oh yeah. Well, that's and now the thing. I'm just like it's violence uh, and tits, so I can go to bed. <laughs> All, all the um, that's why you like cyberpunk so much. All the political stuff is being done um, kind of blatantly, you know. Like, I mean, there's different layers to it, you know. Like, you can you can catch the little things, you know, but maybe you don't need to know the green dress because they're probably yeah. going to explain the green dress in a couple of weeks. Like, did you notice that when so, they go for the kiss, that he turns away and she has to peck his cheek when they sealed the deal for the? Oh wedding? yeah, I did see that. Oh, I missed that I, part. Um, also, that was very traumatic. If They're you want to talk both. about fucking symbolism, let's talk about the fucking ending. Her dad dying, or I mean, not dying, but falling over. the ending, ending, the last scene yeah, of the last episode. Fell over. He fell over. At Him a... falling over, but there's also it zooms out. Yeah, and you see the pile of blood. Yeah. from yeah. the thing, and there's a. Rat, rat in it. A rat oh, drinking it. That's right. Yeah, oh, what's you think that? There's mean? a rat in their midst. Well, it's like the symbolism for I think the, I the smell in the books. Rat. The it's they're called the gray rats. Is a slur for oh bastards. I don't know. Right. I haven't read I the thought, books. No, no, the is... maesters are the gray rats. They are. Yeah, they like. They're the real, like, maybe, maybe most likely puppet oh, masters, you know? I'm sorry. Uh, there, there was something else, some other fantasy thing where someone was a gray rat. So I'm thinking that's... I'm, oh. Okay, I'm thinking of something else now. Never mind. The, the maesters, the people that are, like, you yeah, know, yeah. giving him the poison most likely. They're like, oh, he needs leeches, you know? Oh, maybe, maybe like, put some cream on it. He's like, nope, give the king leeches or whatever. Put some on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? So it's, it's, the, it's symbolizing oh, that's what it was. the gray rats okay. are, like... Sipping on blood, you know, they're like stoking the fires. In another in another episode, they were crawling on the dragon's skull and shit. Oh, oh you're trying to say that, the yeah. church runs the country? They're trying to they're trying to take the, so it's the Maester's conspiracy that they took down they killed <laughs> what, the dragons. What is the it, they set this whole civil war up. What what is what is that religion? Uh it's the um Seven God, seven God nationalism. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the ex- seven God nation. It's a it's a Christianity uh, <laughs> alike religion, well, except, you know. Except for all the seven gods, well, you know. But like, it's it's based on Christianity, mm-hmm. essentially, is what George R. R. Martin has said. That's the, the four too many to have that work. What Father, Son, Holy Spirit? How you have seven gods? This, well, if it's like very the, carefully, this, this is what they say too. Like the maesters, um, everyone knows it's only, it's really only one god, but they break it up into seven for the small folk, you well, know, for horcruxes, so you can't kill them. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't want to talk about the stranger, the seven god. You don't even mention the seventh. Is the stranger? Oh, what's what Damon? What did he look like? The stranger. When he killed his wife? It's when you sit on your hand. I was not numb. even ready for that. Oh, right at hand. the beginning of the episode. It's right you sit on your hand until it goes numb. I know, I know. Okay, yeah. sorry. You, oh, that was that one? Okay, I, I saw that. I'm like, that's cool. Every, like, time, oh, you, fuck, every time they depict the seven gods, the stranger is just a hooded figure. Oh, you never see its face, okay. you know? But and that is what he was. I, I tell you what, though. That uh, I was that scene like freaked me out a little bit. Because I was like, oh, fuck. So not only... It's very I mean, ambiguous in the books. Like... She died in like a crowd, like on a you know hunting party or whatever. I think. And but how the fuck did he push a horse over? Yeah, that was weird. I, I thought the dragon was going to be involved somehow. Right. Well, you that know? means yeah. That we heard the screech of the dragon in the distance. Well, I, yeah, yeah, was there? Well, you got to get there. Yeah, he definitely flew there and shit. So I don't know. You know, um, I was there. We saw your dragon, asshole. <laughs> yeah. That was that wasn't my dragon. No shit, because I mean, <laughs> dragons are common, but there's still like only. Handful that right now, right also, now. Also, the one that he drives, that big red lizard. Well, they truck. also say they get like smaller because they like domesticated them so much. They made the um, comment in the original Game of Thrones yes. show, anyways. Oh. So, oh, I think okay. So we're well, they about, got no bigger than like house cats because you want at, at the at the oh. last one is so you want because you you mentioned Vagar the big yeah. Dra- yeah yeah next week I think oh I hope so That'd because. Be sick. Yeah, it almost has to with with the time jumping and how many more episodes are left. I don't guess I don't know where they're gonna get to yet. This the end of it, but um, yeah, the biggest dragon's got to show up, and it's gonna be a fucking big old mama beast for sure. Mm. And then um, we're about to get a whole bunch more. I pro- maybe not even this season. Maybe we'll see them all in the distance. But with this time jump, there's got to be Hopefully. dragons multiplying because everyone's having kids now. It's gonna get really complicated for you guys. I feel like I got dragons. 
They're multiplying. Like everyone it's, has I kids. I don't know what the rest of this Everyone's going to have kids at, after this. Yeah, right? No one got my Grease reference? Thanks. I got it, yeah. And you're, you're, you're not even going to know who the parents yeah. are at first. It's going to be oh. so confusing for you guys all. It's going to be it's going to be great. Do you think she's... Well, she has to. They wouldn't introduce Christian if he wasn't going to be throughout the entire series. Oh, yeah, because he's got... Yeah, he's, some, I don't think he's going to age up either. I think it's going to be the same actor uh, yeah, playing him. Yeah, saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is definitely throughout the entire series. Okay. So they're going to be definitely boning on and off. Hmm, maybe. Well, I mean... They will. You think... What, they will. I don't know. I was almost thinking, like... He was her first. Drop it, look! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like uh, I think the both queens might start to get a little nasty. Oh yeah. Who knows? Hmm. You saw right near his face when she leaned over the table. It was just like you know, furred her brow. It was bitch. Just like, huh. hmm. Anyway. Yeah. So the whole time jumper thing. So Arcane did that. Did you watch Arcane? Mm-mm. Do you see Arcane? Yeah. You have to remind me which one that it was. It was the one set in like <laughs> some. It was I've set in like so a video game them. world. Yeah. I think League of Legends maybe. They're all set in an old world yeah. with dragons and stuff. But no, it was like futuristic type of, kind of future Arcane came out maybe a six, seven months anime, ago. Anime, right? Yeah, anime. A Netflix original anime. Yeah. Anyway, again, I... Oh, I, the I, sisters. Yeah, the sisters. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Right? I didn't We've talked in, about that on here. I didn't get into it. I couldn't get into it. Everybody kept saying, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Well, I didn't realize the next episode was that time jump. And it was kept going. So there's like that one... Uh, <sighs> what was the one that we were uh, going to do a podcast with Austin with? Oh, um, uh, Hunter, Hunter X Hunter. Yeah. Did you guys there's never a, finished there's no time, it? There's a time did. jump, but I didn't finish it. Uh, I keep, I keep forget. I know, dude. I keep forgetting. Do the it's time warp. Uh, Are we out of time or something? No. Oh, yeah. What's the next topic? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I found two random topics that go together. Fuck me. All right. The way you were looking at your phone, like, oh, sh- they're still tug. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to look that way. We got. Uh, what were okay. you doing? So, <laughs> have you ever sworn at an authority figure? And I'm going to assume that means that they're in uniform, not just your uncle that happens to be a cop that you give a razzin to at a party. Yeah. Most likely, I've I've a uh, I've tell said, about a swim. I've I've yelled "fuck the police" at the at a cop before, a cop that I was friendly with, not an uncle. In fact, I hated him, but I was friendly with. Sounds him. like you're just trying to justify the exact same scenario I said you can't Jesus. justify. It's a strange cat in your backyard. Oh, <laughs> it's an orange cat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? They all scurry about back there. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, I, I definitely. Have you ever cursed at an authority figure? I I I've, I can count on one hand how many interactions I've had with the police. So, no, probably. Hmm. Even in a crowd, maybe security guards. No. Also, why would I be mad at a security? Why would I be a dick to a security guard? I don't know. I don't know. Also, I'm not a dick to strangers in general, so I'm not going to swear at them. But would you? I mean, probably, but if I, I mean, if I, I mean, if it were in the I situation, I mean, you can go up to any cop and curse at him if you want. It's, Hello, how the fuck are you? Or any authority figure in general, like a teacher, a okay, president. Well, I'd say, yeah, you gotta qualify what authority figure means. License and registration. Your karate Chicken coach fucker. or sensei. The guy making your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spit in my pizza. That's a lot of authority. That's why would I? I would. That's why I would not swear at that man. Or exactly. lady, excuse me. Who do you swear at? People I know that annoy me. That's it. I don't swear at strangers. I that's have shit. sworn at the police, I can think of How about... at least once in high school, with Dan. <laughs> watching them hassle some guy singing on the corner trying to make some change because he was playing, like, uh, political songs. Um... We're all, like, and kind of punk-style acoustic. We're all like, fuck that, let him go, fight the power. <laughs> 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 Were you wearing flip flops? <laughs> yeah, I might have had vans at that time. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was high school. We all had vans in high school. You guys didn't get beat up because you were white. That's the oh. yeah. Oh, how about a boss? Stop. Swear a boss. Every day. All right. Okay. So this well, goes. But I don't consider with them an authority next. figure because <laughs> I don't respect them. <laughs> What's up next? Is it illegal to make out with your wife 
while the cop writes your ticket or girlfriend. While he writes your ticket, just make it out in front of him. No. How the hell would it be? They're in the car usually writing the say, ticket. I'm going to say no. Aren't they? What, well, it depends on if you get caught making out. What the? F- it's not illegal. I know, but if they like bang on the window like, yeah, you're like, oh, 40 year old people, you know. Yeah, that's not illegal. It would seem stupid it, to me. It depends. I don't think that's actually illegal. It but, depends on where you're parked. But do you, do, you, do you support that, you know, should you not do it while you're getting a ticket or? If it oh, happens, you're, it already, you're already I mean, getting would, the ticket for something else? Would you feel bad if you got busted by a cop after he comes up to your window like, I have your ticket here. Can you quit making out? Yeah, but why would you be all cranked up when you're getting a ticket, though? Maybe she's into it, man. Maybe that's why you were swerving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got pulled over for that one time. Making out with a chick? No. I, Who were okay. you blowing? Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to blow and drive at the same time. He, he had to stand on the console. Jesus. No right. wonder they pulled oh, you no. over. He so, had his head out the fucking <laughs> the moonroof. You weren't trying to blow yourself while you were driving, were you? That'd be really hard. No, I'm doing hard. Uh, so between Omaha and Norfolk, back in college, uh, we were driving, and Jenny, like, like stretched and, like, did this thing to, like, to... Yeah, I sure leaned over to like, did. you know. Sure she did. Hug, I don't know what the fuck, hug whatever. As a cop was driving by, and he just, I mean, like ripped the e-brake, turned because around, chased us down. Do that? Yeah, and so and so he pulls up the window. He's like, hey, how are you? I'm like, hello. Because I know I wasn't speeding. And he's just like looking at, looking around, like looking for a boner, looking, all, you know, <laughs> just like, he's like, all right, well, you know, all right. What were you y'all, driving? Y'all have a good day. Uh, F-150. Okay. He's like, all right, y- y'all have a you have a good day. And he just left awkwardly. And I started driving. I started laughing so fucking hard. I almost got pulled over again for swerving. Because I realized what had happened. And of course, Jenny has no fucking idea, you know, the context of what I said. It's called road hedge. Like, what? It's when you, if you were sucking my wiener while we were driving. So, that doesn't seem safe at all. But yeah, no shit. <laughs> if? You're not like, well, so maybe you should try it now so I won't get pulled over. It's yeah. like the double jeopardy. Like, well, we're not going to get pulled over for that again. I need to be in, like, full... Dude, you, you cruise it and you scoot way back? No, I wouldn't even. No, I don't think it would work. No, nah, man, it works. Take your pants off if you have to. It's fine. I'm you can drive without pants. It's not going to work. I'm telling you, the physics aren't there. The best part is when you're getting roadhead and people drive by. <laughs> 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 Honestly, it is. Because they, they, they know what's happening. <laughs> how, would they, how would they know? You can tell. You get like, what is it's going on up here? Oh. This guy's kind of swerving, and there's something moving <laughs> in his lap, you know, or in the center. You can see it in the middle somehow. You know? I've seen I've seen it happening. The best part is like you I do it oh. right before you go into a construction right. zone. You know, that's like oh roadhead section. That's what it means. So we went from making out while getting a ticket to getting roadhead. Yeah, I'm just telling you the roadhead. best the best way to do it. Construction zone coming up. <laughs> I can get it done. <laughs> 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 I roadhead zone. I just really window down and drive all the construction workers. Stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's all of a sudden like a stop sign. Like, oh. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> well you can, if, you, if you stop, you got to stay there. Because if you still sit up, well, you know. No, you always got to bump yeah. the brake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, speed bump. <laughs> I hear a speed Why are we taking left hand turns and hitting the same obstacles? <laughs> I, yeah, I suppose if you're. Oh, God. Keep your head down, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's cruise control, babe. Look out! <laughs> Duck! You need to Ooh. shift the stick, get back to work. <laughs> All right, let's end that topic. Here's Ooh. a classic one Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you are going to die? When or how? Uh, hmm. How? Because I'll forget. Until like right before. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, ah! yeah it was like, oh, that's what I was gonna do. Dead. I would think knowing how would kind of suck because then you try to avoid it and everything. There's that. That's why. I'm and saying, then it would still happen. But if you forget though. But knowing when it's gonna happen could just like, you know. Be nice because you could like try to live everything. I was you, say, know? you could really try to live, but it also could freak you the fuck out. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd rather know how. 
Yeah. It's like, you're going to die, uh, like, banging a moose. Like, well, I guess I'm never going to Canada again, and then that's fine. No, clearly the moose will come to you. Oh, you know? shit, that's a good point. Getting banged well, who's banging by who? a moose. Yeah, yeah. Getting banged by a moose, yeah. yeah. What if you died by moose banging? Yeah, I died by Mr. Hanson. And then you're, so, and sometimes you're just like... me out in my own backyard. <laughs> drunk on the fucking rotting apples in my neighbor's yard. It was July in Texas. <laughs> this moose comes barreling over the fence. I just put the burgers <laughs> on. <laughs> it's raping me. What if you even tried to like move to like Australia where there are no moose, you know? Like Then it would probably break free from like a traveling American circus. It's or July yeah. in Melbourne and I'm make I just put the burgers on and this moose <laughs> comes flying over the fence and starts fucking me. <laughs> or it could be like a fake moose, like a stuffed you know, thing and as I'm sitting there having my guts ripped apart by a bull moose's dick, I look up and lock eyes with my wife and beautiful stepchildren and I go, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I did. And you get impaled by the moose at that point then? Or what? Yeah, rips your guts apart. Or how, are you impale yourself because you're like, stuff they family the saw me. That's how Mr. Hands died. Mr. Hands? All right, that's enough of that. that. Oh, that's a cliffhanger. Google Mr. Hands, lame. No, I'm good on that. Go ahead, Google it. It's pretty funny. Funny? Uh, sure. If you think if it's, it's something funny. to do with a uh, fucking a moose. If you, a, <laughs> so if, you, if you think a man when can... you die, what outfit do you hope you're wearing? Nothing. Oh yeah, definitely. You die naked. Oh yeah. Birthday suit would be nice. A um, birthday suit? What do you? What's a birthday suit? Naked. Your birthday suit. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Um, you never heard that term? I don't think so. Wow. wow. Impressive. Uh, I don't know. Or, or just like a suit. Just wearing like a, a suit. Like, suit. Well, it's time now. Like a bow tie and shit. <laughs> and a cape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what if so you die at like, like a Halloween party or so something? So you know how like, you're going to die. So you, you die like, as Superman. Dress for the occasion. Yeah. The irony you know, you of dr- dress like Superman every day. I thought I was going to find Superman. out that they were like, dude, you're going to die from falling off the top of a large building. Anytime I go on top of top of a large building, I'd, I'd want to dress up in some way. Maybe a Superman or somebody with a cape at least. So if you fall, you're like, well. Wee. <laughs> well, what if you tried to make like an actual glider, you know, Superman glider? Like Batman? Yeah. A, wee, a, a wing cape? Like a wingsuit. Wingsuit. <sighs> Thank you. With a cape. You just always have it on in case you have to go up a really high place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you're going upstairs and it like opens up all the randomly. <laughs> shit! <laughs> the wind starts blowing. The car drives by. Oh shit! <laughs> it's an expensive operation, but I think it could be worth it. To wear a Santa suit all the time to cover it up because it's so bulky. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just fat. Like, nope, wingsuit. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. All right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what, right. A, what if like a tornado came like randomly? Though? Party. <laughs> that would yeah. be fucking awesome. You'd fucking die. <gasps> I wonder. I would love to see that. Because you know the, the, the insane. Uh, uh, You'd die. Like, extreme sport like the surfers. That's like surf like, you know, tsunamis and hurricanes and shit like that. You can't fucking. Wingsuit a tornado. No. Windsuit tornado. I mean, like, have a windsuit in a tornado. Yeah, yeah. I think you would die. You would definitely. Dude, die. your brain. Yeah, if you hit something, you could. You wouldn't be able duh. to fly. You'd probably get spun out of it. I mean, like, tornadoes have picked up people. There's stories of babies oh, yeah. and stuff oh, like yeah. that, and they get dropped down gracefully. But if you're wearing a wingsuit, like, you gotta be moving so fucking fast. It would tear. Circle. It would tear you apart because you're especially if you're trying to. St- Stay. It like, would probably tear the wings. Apart, I think. Sure. I feel like it's mostly like people that like are knocked out that go like limp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In tornadoes, survive. Was it? There but was... if you're like alive during it, you're like tensed up and shit. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked up. There was some story years ago. Again, it made it a fucking tall tale, but basically, someone hid from a tornado in their clawfoot bathtub and it picked them up. But it was so heavy, and the way shape of it, it basically like just took them a couple of counties away, just popped them in a the field. They're like. Fuck and just walk home. I could see that naked <laughs> in Honestly, a birthday suit. No, no, no I, th- I think that. Well, well, oh, they were there for the pipes I th- I think protection. They hid in like, you know. Yeah. No, I think there's definitely been stories of like kids getting fucking tossed oh, sure. counties or miles away. You know. Yeah. 
But and walking home and shit after a tornado. This way, is back in the day. Uh, the way, I mean, like you got a wingsuit and there's like high winds so like that. Like, I, I got a question for you. No, no. So Not like style. the the story of the baby that got picked up and then set down however far away and being perfectly fine, like. How do you picture that happening in your head? Like, is the baby just like <laughs> squatting in there nice and tight? Is this a little spinning thing? Or is it like hanging on by one hand, being like, I will survive? He's hanging on to his blanket. He's got Maybe a, that's why it's He's got a cane. A <laughs> 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 what? He's hanging on to it by a cane. Yeah. <laughs> is he wearing a monocle no, too? No. <laughs> He's using a, a well, uh, you, so you were talking about a little baby, like swaddled. Like, is this like a six month old baby? It's like a six month old baby got lifted up out of a tornado or into a tornado and then set down however far away. Like nothing had happened. Like somebody just put the baby on the ground. Yeah. No. I could. I could see that. Especially if they were like tied to a cradle. You know. Why would your baby be tied to a cradle, bro? Back, back in the day, they would just, like, strap their kid down and while they cigarette were... burns on it too, Lane. Where what? are you going with this? Sick it with burns? I don't know. I think John's offended by the uh, tie to the... I'm talking about, like, medieval times. Not medieval times, but, like... What uh, the fuck? We're not... <laughs> prairie, prairie times. You know, where, like, people don't even report their shit. They're like, yeah, my fucking... I tied my kid down. <laughs> tie them all, I tied them all down. When we have a tornado, I put the baby outside. <laughs> tied it down. <laughs> Well, Mark, exactly. well, and what did you know? It the well, neighbor, the neighbor came back with the baby the next day. He said, "Fucking flew down to her farm." So, so I put it down the river this time. <laughs> yeah, I can just imagine like the old homestead. It's like, well, Martha, I'm getting horny. Tie the kids up. <laughs> Tie the tree outside. <laughs> Never have one of those fifty-six week abortions. <laughs> yeah, honestly, dude, like they would tie people up honest, back in the day, you know, or like slaves. I, you're just. Yelling, you're talking random shit at this point. We're not talking. All right, it is a random topic, Jenna. Do you do you think that the plantations in the South gave a fuck about the slaves when tornadoes would all of a sudden show up? (coughs) Okay, yeah, they did. That was their inventory. Oh, good point. It was their property. (laughs) Yeah, it's worth money. You you grab your phone when something happens. But what do you you grab your slave? But what 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 did were they invited into the cellar with the? I'm sure there were plenty of like, like, owners. Large buildings and stuff, not just like little huts. And well, whatnot. also, well, hold on. Hold on. They're on no, that's farm. not hold where on. you want to be. You don't want to be around the big things that Wait. can kill you. Stop. Where are tornadoes usually? And where were slaves usually? There are it's definitely. Not a whole lot in the South. They happen, though. Th- there, or they hurricanes. Hit, in they the hit South, the Appalachians and shit. But how many hurricanes. Damn it. How many tornadoes <coughs> came through slave states? Um. You know, that's I'm, I'm, in, I'm curious now. I mean, that is slave a, tornado. Google slave it. tornado. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I want to watch that movie. <laughs> Can't help you here. Uh, Don't ruin it for me. I mean, what it, it's? Uh, yeah, I, it's got to be man. There's like in like Tennessee you or find something. Out the tornado you know? isn't racist. Kentucky. Had slaves, but find, didn't they? But then you find out the tornado. I don't even. Do you know the slave uh, states? Then you find out the tornado isn't racist. The tornado is sucking up all the all the slaves to take them away from it. The tornado is actually the good guy. So slave oh. NATO is actually an abolitionist storm cell. Wow. That, Where does he drop them off at? Uh, New, New York, York, North, North Canada, <laughs> even North. maybe. Well, just north of the South continent. gets quite a few tornadoes. Yeah. Yeah, but how far south? That's what I'm saying. It, all the way south, dude. It, even in Florida, it actually gets quite a few of them. Yeah. Well, I guess the panhandle, sure. Now, like, flat. straight up the middle of the U.S., you know, we have our time period there. We have like, the tornado belt spring, or early whatever. June. Yeah. You know, even into, like, July and whatnot. But outside of the big, we're, like, the biggest heat path. But just in general throughout the year, the, the south's pop? always kind of grown huh. for a tornado here pop- and there. You're always popping over there. Yeah. You're so poppy. You're so cool. Poppy. It makes it pop. <laughs> it's just the a chair. Pop. Mr. Poppy. No. It makes no. it pop. Player plosive. Why does he do that? You, we don't do that. Because he's talking really puh. Puh. It might be the microphone. Puh. So yeah, what the fuck? It might be the microphone. I don't know. No, we, I'm sure you guys have puh. switched. Puh. 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 But you don't pop like pop. Derek Pussy. pops all the time. Popcorn. <laughs> pop. pop. Oh, I'm good. I'll bring a oh, fucking pop is. filter ass there over for you. Pop this, this is a pop filter. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't work as good. It's not very. I'll effective. put a fucking fifty-eight and a fucking pop filter on there for you. I have pop filter. Please, pop 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 filter. 
Uh, so tornadoes have definitely sucked up slaves. Yes. This is a fact. Sure. We're just talking what, about what the law of averages. What okay. if even, okay. oh, what if about the ones that were on the run? You There's know, probably trying to escape. plenty of white slave owners, <laughs> too. <laughs> okay. That's what I want okay. slave NATO to be okay. about. Well, they had, they, had, they had sellers to go into, dude. They okay. knew. So we have our concept for the movie of Slave NATO, which is an abolitionist slave, but you think it's abolitionist No, slave they have to like, take control bad. of the weather and have it attack the, uh, the slave owner. Yeah, attack Whitey. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, maybe it's, they're like you know some Jamaican witch lady or something. You know, shaman. There you go. Black shaman sounds like a like shaft, like the old lady Black that uses shaman. the ancient power. She brought the tornado there. Uh, all right, all right. No, <laughs> God, lame. <laughs> like, okay, she, next topic. Uh, for fuck no, is she right. a voodoo queen? Uh, who? All right, let's... <laughs> I'm a gypsy queen. What's your biggest pet peeve about Lane? The lady is that what? he's not paying attention, and he goes, "She's a witch, doctor." <laughs> That's what I was thinking about, though. Uh, Sorry, I got, I got, I was like, "Oh yeah, slave NATO could be a really good idea." All right, here's an interesting question. Let's get serious here. <laughs> Who's the hero? Will humans spread out among the stars, or just be a brief blip in Earth's history? Blip. Most likely. Blip. The odds. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But. I think we will survive. The odds, gonna, the odds are that we blip. You and have Keith to Richards have faith. are going to get together and save the human population. Hey, the only way they are literally cockroaches. You, Richard Sherman is that what you said? Keith, Keith Richards. Richards. Who's Richard Keith Sherman? Richard. I don't know. Is there some name you made he, up? He's a quarterback. He's famous for playing the Legion of Boom with the Seattle Seahawks. Wow, so I was not a, with wait, row, really? the first one. Really, that's Russell Wilson. That's not oh, the Richard no. Sherman that I was thinking about. I'm not the Richard Sherman you're looking for. You just said Russell Wilson. He said Richard Sherman, dude. They played together at the the Seahawks. They won the Super Bowl. So Richard like, Sherman's a real person. Huh? So yeah, Richard Sherman. Yeah, he's Who? Just, so Richard Sherman is a real person. He's gonna yes. live. Okay, thank There's you. There's a Richard Sherman. <laughs> I told you. Well, I know there's a Richard Sherman, but the guy. Well, no, okay, okay, but okay. shut up. I oh, think yeah. I think I don't think we'll be a blip. Slept? I think that you, you just have said to it. you have to have faith in humanity. I don't have no faith. You, you in have humanity. to give out positive vibes that humanity will figure their shit out <laughs> and that we won't be fucking no. slaves to fucking no. whoever forever. I think but having Trump around helps that. What? Everything going on right the now. The positiveness, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, more positivity if that guy's just gone because he makes everything so fucking negative all the fucking time. I mean, there's negativity everywhere. Well, Trump, dude, Trump he's way. the world's biggest baby. Literally, everything he says almost is either I am the greatest or I would do it better. Oh, look, uh, okay. he's not sitting where I'd sit. If you, if you think about, like, Trump, like, if he had control of Mood Slime from Ghostbusters, heard. you know, like, he he would bring some fucking toxic Mood Slime, you did know, you, the most that anyone ever smart? see. So good Mood old smut. Oh my god! Some good old Republican wait, smut. Oh, was it uh, who Egon? You dog! He he banged the truck. Uh, You're not sleeping with it, are you? Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. I've gone a considerable amount of time without hearing anything about Trump. I'd like to not bring that up right now because it's so goddamn annoying. I don't want to hear. There's about no point it. to that. If I want negativity, I, I talk. I watch the Cornhuskers. So, ha- uh, so uh, smut. Yeah, no, we're a blip because we are actively just destroying ourselves. So it's I mean. Yeah, but you don't you don't have faith that humanity will figure it out. Not in time, no. Will defeat the evil ones that are destroying it? Because honestly, like most humans are good, you know, they've just like been fucked mm. over by society most of the time. Yeah, that, you that's, know, that's a big existential question that we can't answer. In the some next people, two some people, there is always that person that will kick someone, knock someone over. You know, right hand, it left hand. Be balls. Left or right hand? <coughs> left or right. Just hand me one. I don't care. No, no, no. Pick. Where are you? Point the direction. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, my eyes have been closed this whole time. I thought you were holding them. No. Then why do you think I was flailing my arm around? Just pick <laughs> one. A left goddamn right. beer. Left. Thank you. But what the fuck? What do you think I was doing, sitting with my eyes closed, flapping my hands around? Yeah, it looked awkward, so I didn't want to get near that. <laughs> oh, you right, frightened right. him off away. Ooh, black pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, anyway. We're doomed. No, I don't think so. I, I think I think it's going to be more. Uh, I, mean, I think we'll go to the stars. I feel like even if humanity uh, sets some fucking nuclear bombs off, like some cavemen will survive somewhere. You know, yeah, Stone Age humanity, people. I mean, we are. We'll, we'll just be knocked parasite. back to Stone Age. We're a e- even if a comet or asteroid knocks 
Earth out. You know, it takes us no, out. Uh, someone will survive Snake, or will evolve. No, it's Snake Plissken going, welcome to the Dark Ages. And then all the... the Snake Snake Plissken escape from L.A. He sets off the, the tactical nuke satellites. EMP satellites. Yeah. And he his lights his fucking walk away. Ah, oh, dude, escape from L.A., baby. Hmm. Is that what sets off the... Uh, Road Warrior, uh, no, no. Mad Max fucking society. Well, I mean, close, but could. Uh, but, well, no. You don't think that will happen first? You know that well, that'd Mad be Max? a cool like couple generations. Well, Mad Max. Yeah. Yeah, but fuel will run out immediately because fuel <clears throat> has a shelf life of eight months. So, um. Yeah, but I think diesel like people... has a sh- no fuel doesn't last. That's the thing. I mean, th- the premise of Mad Max is cool, but but, but, the, sense. but like the it's, it's, people will still have access to wells. I think. I think people, even if, like, you know, cities yeah, collapse, there'll I mean, still be those could, wells and shit out there, you know? You like, could refine. Well, hell, I guess in the, the new one, uh, new-ish, was it uh, the Mad Max? Fury Road. Fury Road, yeah. They had gas towns, so technically they were refining petrol. Yeah, but, exactly. Sure, so I guess I'll give you that. Plus, also, I mean, it I was, don't know. I it, think as soon as people realize they don't need cars when they don't have technology anyway, like... We'll just get a horse or walk. No, but there's still like vast distances you but, to like go for other things yes, too. Yes, you know. Devastation. Who the? F- I mean, they're not. It's gonna be. I think there'll be some strongholds. Those are gonna be years. some strongholds. Yeah, but but everything is gonna be irradiated. Like you physically cannot function on the earth. Like everything will die. Well, you can't farm. You can't. No, that's not true. Farm. Okay, what if agriculture? Just gone. imagine. Just imagine like Asia and Europe are gone in America. There's still ha- that still leaves you like Africa and South America, yeah, that's and all Aust- and Antarctica also, and Australia. One month, of one of wind. one of those countries will like one people month, will be able to survive. At. One month of wind circulation, fucked all all that fallout's gonna that's hit. Why you go underground, man? <laughs> <laughs> the tunnels and shit underground, yeah, people I get will that. fucking survive. Yeah, but they're not gonna be there when the bombs drop. You're gonna tell me the pe- people living in the Amazon aren't gonna survive that shit? No. Yeah, they will. They have a cave it, system. It, if they you know saturate of. the earth with nuclear fallout, doesn't matter. It, it, even at one point, it'll still make its way around the world. It doesn't. That's I think we'd survive that still. That's why it's a deterrent. That's why we will never, probably never see. Super Chernobyl happened. There's a lot of wildlife out there. We don't even know what would happen. It's never happened before. The closest thing is Chernobyl. Like he just. The said. Earth has done some fucking wild ass. No, fuck. we are like, fucked. Uh, hurric- earth or not is hurricanes. Fine. Earth uh, is volcanoes. Fine. That have gone off in like fucking you know South America or whatever have fucked up shit for the whole world I, you yeah, know for generations. Saying. Yellowstone, yes. yeah, Yellowstone I'm, is a good I'm, one too. I'm glad we're close enough to Yellowstone. I can't remember the last time Yellowstone died. went off. Yeah, Instantly. That, I prefer, that's, most likely. That's why, Instead like, of starving to death, that's slowly. why if we were attacked. I like. What would you want to be wearing if you were starving <laughs> to death in the apocalypse? Ooh, from nothing. Volcano. My dick's out. Um, I'd still like to have like a some sort of. I don't know. Hazmat suit? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, at, at least maybe like bowl. at least like some outdoor gear and some boots and shit, you know? Like, like give me a chance. I don't know. Well, that's why I like living next to all I think about the first all the nuclear pets attack, we're gone. and what happens to all the pets when something like that happens. They die or get eaten. Pets? Yes, the pets, your dogs, eat your cats. Yeah, your you fish. definitely eat the pets. Your and lizards, and, and you start for your, sure. And you start with Nayla because she's thick. And then you'd move to my dogs. No, cat Bass is the oldest. He'd want it that way. Fair enough. But Fair enough. is that going to taste good? How old? It's like, <laughs> oh, oh, taste? You're eating a cat. Flavor is not a factor. I've had a lot of Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, are you going to have any? Are you going to have any sauces and stuff? Oh, General Sal's best. Oh. You're, so you're going <laughs> to you're tell me you're going to start eating the cat. <laughs> Well, you still have a cupboard full of food or you can make stir fry with No, everything's got nuclear fallout on it. And now, like, the world's a wasteland. You try to bring your pets with you for a little bit, but eventually they're just holding you back. I just imagine it's like, like, uh, someone suggests to eat the cat, and Derek's like, Are you mad? We have no rice! (laughs) That's what he's mad about. Oh. Oh. I don't have any teriyaki. I can't. You can just eat my cat. All I, have, <laughs> all I have is this leftover oyster sauce. Ah, it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I just brought I the go into town me. with like the zombie apocalypse <sighs> nuclear fallout crowd and find a little cookie shop and get all the stuff you need. <laughs> Let's go scavenging for some roots. Out Let's in risk the our forest. lives. We can better this cat I'll meal. Go, I'll go look for a hot zombie. That's my first thing. A hot zombie? Yeah. To eat? What are you talking about? Bang. 
You're gonna fuck a zombie? You're gonna turn yourself into a zombie? But there's zombies, dude. <laughs> Tie them up. What She's she- got one good looking tit. The other one rotted off. No, that's we get them fresh. That's a thing. How do you know that? <sighs> I go, hey, you a zombie? She goes, uh, go, all right. <laughs> That's consent. Dude, that's pretty <laughs> fucking <laughs> disgusting. It's like decomposing and like... No, you get it fresh. A fresh And then you body. get to become a zombie. So, okay, so what about oh, this? Well, I, no, I'm, Are you I'm talking not, about like you have a... You're a zombie a, fucker. You have a wife that you killed your machine. wife and now she's a zombie. Like immediately okay, turned into a zombie. Kill, the, Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm saying if you... You don't instantly turn into a decomposed walking corpse you die by turning into a zombie and then you decompose so you so that's get, what i'm saying you've so, died and now you're a zombie yeah but so you find super a, fresh you find a hot chick that just turned into a zombie like an hour ago oh okay is this someone yeah. like maybe you pushed her in front of some zombies or whatever she no died, i wouldn't no, no, I, be fucked up. I wouldn't do that oh okay no, i wouldn't but no. but she's I already dead one. but she's yeah, already I'd, dead i'd find a hot zombie and a hair dryer to warm her up okay yeah, I mean, any other sort of liquids you might hot want? Hot water, maybe. Water? Hot water to keep like the warm. That'd be more effective. Wouldn't for that just like? I don't like nope. this. No, you're not <laughs> fucking the hot water. You're not putting it in her sniz, in her, her zombie sniz. No, it sounds like it. It sounds like you're. I don't know, raping a dead body that's it's still not, moving. They can't. They can't not They're called the Walking Dead. Yeah, dude, there's still some part of them that's there. Yeah, but if there's, like, five people left on Earth, I'm, and I'm going to die quick. I would so say, fuck it, I would, I'm just going to say this. Zombie. You're going to throw yourself into a fucking pile of zombies and just be like, I'm just fucking like, whipping it out, and if I find a hole, it's going in. I would you'd say this, yeah. It's like, <laughs> also, jump into a dick first. the karma that <laughs> you would get from, like, fucking a zombie. Karma? The karma, karma, like karma, like uh, uh, another zombie would come up and eat you immediately okay. as you're doing that. So that's that's that kind of like what you're deciding. Yeah, but you I know? can go out going, "Holy shit, I banged a zombie!" And I, I guess. I mean, really, that's what you want. Mm-hmm. You'd be able to live with yourself and be like, "Yeah, I wouldn't that, be living, that. dickhead." That's the or or right after that, maybe you finish, you know, that and then you like, a, and then you get like that like moment to like into a gym sit zombie. there and think about it, like, uh, "Oh wait, oh, I did that. just fuck no. this up," and and then you just like watch her walk away. She's like, "Ugh." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of sounds nice. They just uh, walk away. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, if, what if as you're jizzing, if you get bit by a zombie, do you become a jizz zombie and you're just all like, blah, splatter people? What? Middle? It depends on where like, you jizz. If you come on a zombie, you become no, a sperm if, zombie? If, yeah. if you're in what middle, if you just, middle school, What if you just a, turn into a zombie, like your dick starts becoming a zombie? While you're coming at the exact same no, time? No, no, it's already... like the infection has passed to you. Like you're going to become a zombie. It's like they bit your dick. Hold on, but you mine's know? already green. Does that mean someone. anything? <laughs> yeah, oh, you've already shit. done it. Oh, shit. <laughs> right? I didn't want to break the news. I was trying you, to be cool. you turn into a zombie by getting bit by a zombie. Maybe yeah. you also turn into a zombie by fucking a zombie. I you know, like an STD makes... disease, no, you know? No, no. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. No, if the zombie fucked fuck you, like, you're gonna turn into a zombie. No, if the zombie fucked you, you said that because it yeah. blows a zombie load in you. That might be it. Zombies don't you're blow have, loads, if man. You, okay, well, if you can't you get a zombie are off, a non-zombie female <laughs> who is something. ovulating <laughs> and you have sex with, as John would put it, a freshie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it squirts up inside you. Do you have a zombie baby? How would it get, well, well, it get Do you have a zombie squirt- baby? <sighs> yeah. What time? If you, if you, you just would you bring in the term? Hold something you, would the government out. allow you to bring oh, in the term? Are you talking about cream pie? They're zombies? the The Walking Dead. Is it technically alive inside you? I don't know these questions. Yeah, we don't. Wait, hold on. So you're talking about if you cream pie a zombie, if you're gonna have a zombie baby? No, the zombie cream pie is you. I wouldn't have a baby though. I don't have uterus. If female normie yeah. Yeah, if a zombie got gets cream pie. <laughs> By a zombie. Well, I don't think they cream pie. Freshy. I, I feel zombie. like I feel like a zombie would just leak. Yeah, you know? I, I, they'd be like, "Well, sad." Like, blah. Like, could a zombie on. get hard? Could a zombie get hard? That's a thing. Yeah, that. That's the thing. No, because a zombie can't. <laughs> There's no m- moving blood. Yeah. I mean, well, if you die with an erection, though. That, so, so okay, there you go. That's how you become a jizz zombie. Is that you die with a boner? Because the, the the blood okay. like hardens. So or a guy and a fem- a woman. They're in mid coitus. And a zombie okay. bursts in the okay. room and bites okay. the guy. Right as he's right as he's like, yeah, no, <laughs> to draw. And she's like, oh, you're so deep. Oh my god. Yeah, that bitch is giving a fucking zombie birth, for oh, sure. You don't know that if she's a bitch or not. Oh, she's fucking a zombie. 
Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. He's not paying the fuck attention. <laughs> no, I know. I know. But she's a bitch because... I don't know. Because you don't like women? Because she's fucking in the zombie apocalypse. You know? I would do as everything I could possibly do to have fun because it's just a it's matter kind of, of all there before is. you get eaten. That was what was really good about The Walking Dead at the beginning is everyone was fucking, huh. you know? I didn't watch it. I, I watched the first episode. I guess, I guess at least in the book. comic book, too. Mm. The show I thought was good enough. I started reading the comic book, and then... Um, oh! Oh! You'll care. Matt Mercer is in Cyberpunk. From Critical Role. That name oh, fuck. Okay. So you listen to Critical Role? A little bit. Every month, I just yeah. started. It's I have like four episodes. I'll fucking it's been a while since I've listened. It's but... fun. Uh, I hope the production gets better. But Matt Mercer is in Cyberpunk. Problem is when you listen to... When you hear it, you go, oh, that's Matt Mercer. <laughs> you you, you kind of like, oh, I know what that is. <laughs> Next topic. Zombie abortions. <laughs> you started it. Let's see here. I don't think you could... You wouldn't have the tools to have given a girl an you abortion. You just po- poke her real hard and like, kill her. Oh, yeah, the clothes hanger thing. No, just poke because she's all decomposed. Or just push her down some stairs, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, There's a zombie apocalypse. So one of the topics is kind of more of a pun joke. <gasps> we did that in, zo- in the... And it's a little bit topical because of racial reasons. Does oh, the Little great. Mermaid wear an algebra? Ha! The only thing no, I only seashells. The only problem I don't know I what have, holds them together. String, fishing algae, line, lots, of, lots of algae, fishing line. Fishing That's the joke. Does a little more date where algebra? It. I get it. Well, okay. Well, what's on the, the bottom? The only thing I don't like about having a black little mermaid is that she's still a redhead, and that bothers me for yeah. some reason. A black redhead goes, "What's that's that sounds what's, sexy to me." I, I mean, no, well, I, except I, for the fish half. You know, I saw yeah. a picture that showed that there was already a black mermaid in the original i don't think so i don't remember what at least um no because she had like a whole crew they did also, like that dance scene in the beginning and shit i, I remember that fucking 30 years since seen shit. i know exactly but, so, but what i don't like is that they had a black character they could have just made a story about that like because they're no, doing yeah, they're doing the exact same yeah, story yeah you just have to make a live action like why are they redoing things because the redos have sucked yes have you seen any of them no i don't give a fuck Exactly. The the, old, the, oh, Beauty and the Beast, I think, was hot, was popular because Emma Watson was good. I think. I never um, saw it. But, but it was also, things. that was a redo. You yes, know? it was a live action version. I'll tell you the ones that I have seen. I've seen Maleficent because that one's not a redo. It was a, it was like a, like yeah, a I had no idea prequel, that. I didn't know that was the real. I, was, I loved that. The original. I haven't seen the second one. I loved it. Oh, there was a t- second one? Yeah. With Angelina? Yeah. Really? I think. But Charlton Copley was the bad guy. Yeah. And the, the whole ripped off the one. It, it was dark. Well, it was good. It was dark. It was, it was different. It was something new. You yeah. Know? Like, take us back to that world, but tell a new story. Yeah, you know? Good. Um, the same thing with, uh, 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 fuck, Emma Stone just did Cruella. Oh, yeah. I don't care. See, that one's different, too, because it's not a retelling I, of the yeah, story. Yeah, you know, it's cool, something yeah. new. And it was cool. It was That was actually... Was a fucking redo of Devil Wears Parada. Oh, or whatever. It, was, it was. It was. It was really weird. But um, yeah, I haven't seen like the Lion King one. That was a complete redo. It's not live or, action. It's fucking. It's all. It's just CGI. I don't want to call it live action. There's no live action whatsoever. Well, the thing is also too anyway. in cartoon form, like the lions smiled and shit. You know, like yeah, they were. Very, they did like emotions and shit. You know, yeah, it was animated. Yeah, yeah, they when it was just CGI, it just looks like lions like, talking. Meow, 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 <laughs> yeah, meow, exactly. Meow, meow. But then there was there was another one too that it was terrible. I never watched. Um, Aladdin came out. With Aladdin, the, with Will Smith, is Aladdin, the yeah. And I feel like they're taking they're taking yeah. <laughs> with Aladdin, with Will Smith as the genie. They're taking the uh, 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 POC inclusion too far because <laughs> he's blue. <laughs> I mean, are you talking about blue oh, fuck. because he wore blue Ooh. face? No, because the genie is blue, and there's Will Smith, who, if you remember, is black. I thought he did a pretty good job in that movie. Well, You've the, seen that one? Yeah, it's a really good movie. Oh, you missed my joke. So the, the, with he did uh, blue face. Playing Will, Will Smith playing a genie has taken the uh, POC inclusion too far. That was my joke. Because he's blue. He's literal person of color. <laughs> he just blew me away. Oh, it was a person. Oh, movie. now I kind of get it. Eh, it's not that good. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Hey, there's I a qu- it, serious question. Yeah, go ahead. It should be a quick one. Yeah, go ahead. Have you ever thought, even for a second, that Hogwarts is real? Oh. 
Uh, I tried to in the multiverse. I chuck. I like to tell myself that. Of course it is. Of course it is. When I I I first saw Harry Potter, I can't. We can't. I did try to make the broom. You know, try to get the broom to come up. I I I did. Of course, I did it because I was. Did you have a string? No, I just like magnets. You know. And, Bitch. Uh, and later How do life, they work? Well, later in life, I found out that you can ride a broom, but you have to ride it from the one end of it. Up your ass? It's like a broom in my bottle. Yeah. That's do you joke. ever think Jeez, that dude, human imagination joke. comes from access to different universes? No. So whatever you imagine has to exist in some alternative Fucking universe? no. It's an infinite number of multiverses, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, multiple theory, multiverse theory is, has very little... Everything's Everything. possible. There you can't, can't be prove a king it's not and queen real. booger yeah, I can't of the prove, universe I can't in some prove universe. There's... It's just two boogers that just run everything. Hey, I mean... Okay, it, yeah, I like Rick and Morty too, buddy, okay? Calm down. <laughs> it's it's a holographic universe, so whatever you imagine uh, is real, you know? Yeah. Fucking... You create your own reality, and if you imagine it, it's imagine, real. Imagine, John. You just imagine it. It's real. You know? Imagine it. Oh. Yeah. He, went up, gonna, he went up a little bit. Are you going to Are you gonna rape us? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I, I love how Gus <coughs> Butter's that's, first response is, oh, God. <laughs> that's my favorite Here? South Park like oh, series, good. like our, you know, arc of all everything they've ever I done. Still, I feel like that's the I, best. I still do the whole thing when Butter's run over the hill, and then I still, whenever I watch Predator, I go, Predator! And every time I, think, <laughs> yeah. I see it, ah! That's funny. God, all right, funny. We're going to make these rapid fire in <laughs> one minute. What do you got? What do you got? Oh. No, I thought he was ready. <laughs> Here we go. Bitch. Go. All right. No, so you ask uh, them start it. No, you listen slut. to me. You're wasting time already. You're a slut. What is your it's favorite smut. season and why? Lane, go. Um, spring. Spring. Damn it. Didn't ask Fall. you. <laughs> Derek, go. Summer. My birthday's. I love girls and bikinis. John, you can wrap oh, it up. No, no, like you got 40 seconds to yourself. Like Don't waste any time. It's not that much. Fir- Shut up. The first day of fall was today, and I walked outside and I go, oh, fuck. Oh, it's dude, fall. Dude, today felt like the fucking fall day, I love too. the fall. It was great. Because I like yoga pants. I'm going to make some chili. Flannel. Mm. Yoga pants and flannel. Flannel huh? on me. Yoga pants on I don't know. Mom spring spring is nice because all the all the summer dresses no, come out. Uh, Girls have been dressed it's, it's fucking rain. No, rain. locked up all I used, fucking I used winter. To think spring was great. It's just rain. It just rains all the fucking time. So I'm not fucking raining rain. money on them. Take that dress up. Oh, <laughs> <shake that ass. laughs> not, bitch, not all days are rainy. It rains I, in the I, fucking I, fall and I it's still, cold and wet I in the still, fall. I prefer that so much. Uh, oh, all man. right, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it rains in the summer too. That's how you get smut. Also, I don't go places where there's pretty ladies. So the summer doesn't matter to me. That's your problem right there. Derek. What is your favorite genre of movies? John, go. Uh, I, uh, uh, shit. Uh, sci- I like sci-fi and fantasy. I can't tell. I, I don't know. I, kind I of the same. They are Definitely not the same. same. Not the same. <clears throat> I, just, I need, I need uh, it's got to be adventure. Adventure. Yeah. Well. Because that can be like action, sci-fi, but I needed like some sort of, you know, adventure. What do you think mine is? Rom coms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking holiday specials or something. No, you're both wrong. Porn. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know that was a subject. Yeah, what the fuck? You said movie well, genre. They what? make legitimate movies. I'm not watching you a whole movie, movie about of... making movies no. like that. And the guy even says, We made real art. There, you also made a porn. Movie. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? A what? porn. <laughs> what? What? All right, I'll just what? I know of what? the one. Links? <laughs> yeah. VHSs? I've Let's been go. asking for that forever. Let's go. All right. <laughs> that was a long two seconds there at the end, where John didn't get any answers. I said fantasy. Hey, do you have any scissors? I need Sorry. to cut up my six pack. Uh, yes, pussy. I do. No, I don't want to pull. Pull it, you sack of shit! Just don't be a pussy. No, it's too loud on the podcast. Man. It's not too loud on the podcast. Watch. See? Oh, no, so they loud. heard that. They heard it all. Oh, you bitch. All right, John. Yeah. Have you ever peed in the shower? Every fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? It's a giant urinal. All right, have you uh, ever shit in the shower, John? <laughs> yeah, I think he has. Every fucking month. <laughs> Once a month? Yeah, I go, oh, 21st. 
<laughs> no. Uh, it's a new season. <laughs> <laughs> I always think better put this one in the Ziploc bag so I can compare it to last spring's, make sure I'm still healthy. Can, can we just, like, one final, though? Have, have you ever accidentally shit in the shower? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. You have, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, this is what I think about when, I, when the people say one out of 30 have sh- shit in the in shower. In the shower, you have shit in it's, the it's shower. It's an accident shit in the shower. No. Have you ever shit in the shower, Lane? Not a full no. Long, I have never shit in the Not shower. Not on accident, never on purpose. I've never I've shit in the shower. I've peed in the shower. Can I, can I ask more about you accidentally shitting in the shower? Yeah, I went to fart really hard, and I didn't. And how big That's all shit. you need to know. <laughs> no, it was, it was a... It was a ping pong ball size. It just fell. So it. Did, it did you oh, leave fuck. it? Did you right. leave it? Oh, I mashed it down with my foot. There we go. <laughs> Smash it Jeez. down. Lane. You stop it down. Do you like talking naughty? Yeah. In the bedroom. Yeah. What What do you say? What do you have any go to lines or? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Go to lines. Dick, baby. <laughs> Take my dick. No. Um. You like that? <laughs> the most fucking common one, yeah. you know. Everybody says that. Yeah. Oh yeah? You ever ask us? You like that? Yeah. yeah. You know the best thing to do is let yeah. them get on top. <laughs> and they can fuck you hard. John, what's your naughty talking game? Never never done it. Never. You never talk You never naughty? say nope. anything? You've never even been like, oh fuck, that feels good. Nope. You just like What yeah. do you don't make any noises? Yeah, that was a very uh interesting uh relationship in that regard. So hmm. by interesting I mean boring and infrequent. You were thinking about changing that? Trying trying to say well, a maybe, word? Maybe. I never really I mean I'm gonna, I gonna, fucking, I'm gonna tell you this. For 14 fucking years. Oh you'll never know what he was gonna oh. tell you now. <laughs> Go ahead and finish it off. Just say fuck me. I usually do finish it off, thank That's you. That's all you gotta say. Nah. A, I don't know. It just it's, it's never happened. Hmm. <laughs> okay, here's something for John and I to answer. Lane, you can answer this for your ex. I will answer it. Don't worry. Which of the following <laughs> breakfast cereals best describes your wife's family's opinion of you when they first met you? Your what? Wife's family. That's the opinion. Here are the options. Jesus Christ. So, so <clears throat> when you met your spouse or significant other or girlfriend's family the very first time. I'm going to tell you a bunch of cereals. <laughs> you pick one that describes and tell us why. A, a bowl full of razor blades. Uh, wait a second. You only have oh, to pick Captain from. Crunch. And I'm going to read it now. <laughs> Why do you not cut the roof of your mouth? All berries. The cereal, just right. The fuck is that? Oatmeal squares. What? Frosted flakes. Oh, okay. Fro- Lucky charms. Okay. And Fruit Loops. What John, the is, what the fuck's What is your wife's family? What would you think they fruit, thought of fruit, you? Fruit Loops, because look at me. Well, you uh, know, okay, I would you, agree. You met me for one second. Was, I saw Fruit Loops when I read that. I was like, somebody's picking it, and it's what not was, lame. Can I get the options again? Because I, I'm only thinking about Fruit Loops The first now. two aren't real. Just right. right. That's not a real thing. Oatmeal squares. That's, they are. That's not Frosted real. Flakes. Oh, I like Frosted Flakes. <laughs> lucky Charms and Fruit Loops. Oh, I like Lucky Charms, too. No, but what would you... So which one? Of? Frosted Flakes or Lucky Charms? Frosted Flakes. Parents, why? So, so, why? So why frosted flakes? Because I've I've felt some ice from uh, ladies' families before. You felt some ice? Oh, yeah. A little yeah. talking about a little like, ice. like ice. frost. Ice. <laughs> yeah, a little frost. A little frosty box. I didn't like it. A little frost box action. Hmm. A little ice box. I think I might go with oatmeal square. What the fuck is oatmeal square? Like like defend her. yourself. That's not even a cereal. That's oatmeal. Defend I'm yourself because so you, you're a square. They thought you were an oatmeal square. Or that like, you like oatmeal? I don't know. I because it's not one of your guys' answers. Derek, that's what why. is an oatmeal what? square? What is that? Yeah, what is I it? don't know. <laughs> Wait, did, <laughs> that's listen, why. I think Just Right because is like a brand cereal, like maybe Flakes with nothing. Thought, it's just yeah. literally like bread. I, I thought you so were, they said he on. is an oatmeal square because I, I just feel don't like, know I picture an oatmeal is. square as almost like uh, the, the shredded wheat, you know? But, well, that's Frosted Flakes for me, right? Oh, no, I'm thinking of... Frosted Flakes or Flakes? Frosted Quaker, Mini frosted mini Wheats. Quaker Oatmeal Squares. You I was like th- Shredded Wheat, kind of? No. Yes. Yeah. That's what they look like. Well, I was oh, thinking I of, of Frosted Mini Hold Wheats. On. That's thought, what I was thinking I thought about, your too. Ex-wife was, you thought wrong. I thought your ex-wife was Hispanic. <laughs> yes. So, do they have those cereals in, in uh, Oatmeal? Mexico? Oatmeal? Or is it going to be like coconut cereal? <clears throat> I mean, they're fucking Americans, though, too. So Sure. 
So they were like an American figure. Wait, how? How? I guess I don't really think. You know, whatever. We'll talk about this later. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm a fucking Fruit Loop though, obviously. Yeah, I thought Obvious. that. I thought one of that first times. Well, this guy is a fruit I could fucking fuck. And yet we're here. <laughs> Never done it. Well, it's been well, it's been 15 years. Do you years eat Fruit Loops? Why? Why was like? Do you guys have to talk about cereal without me? I don't Because Derek was like, "This is a, this is a thing for Derek for you, John and I." Good, good one, good sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they never sealed the deal. Lane can't understand. Oh man, um, this girl that we used to work with would always be like, "You guys like cereal?" We're like, "Yeah." Oh, okay, cool. What the what, fuck? What kind of cereal you like? <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. You know, Lucky Charms, Fruit Loops. The fuck. That's she. She was just like always really awkward about. It. She asked everyone, "You guys like cereal?" Ah, uh, autism. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. She had one of those special, uh, <laughs> maybe this explains it, but it's like uh, a thing to, like. Service dog? No. <laughs> Electric like, wheelchair? This cup for uh, eating cereal. <laughs> where, like, it, like, I don't know, it had, like, different layers in it oh, where you, yeah. like, put your milk in yeah. and then, like, it knocks a couple of fucking loops yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. That's just kind of a see on TV thing. It's kind of just a funny thing. But, like, it was it was never, like, while she's eating it, asking us about cereal, you know? She would just, like, come in early and eat it. And oh, Tessa. Maybe. And then, yeah, later on. <laughs> All right. I got a question for you guys. It's a movie history question. Lane's autistic. The role of <laughs> Indiana Jones was offered to and rejected by oh. what actor? Uh, Jesus. Uh, it was, uh, um, I don't know. Uh, uh, um, um is not an actor, except that maybe uh, India. Jack Nicholson. Uh, uh, Miami Vice. Um, Nash Bridges. Uh, ah, damn it. Don, I can't remember his name. Don Johnson. No, it was not Don Johnson. It was, uh, uh, yeah, he had a mustache. It wasn't, um, oh. it wasn't Smoking the Bandit. I'll um, give you a hint. It was, um. Monica from Friends dated this person in show. Same actor. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I. I uh, Fuck. He's on I, a cop show now, I think, but still running. Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. There it is. I don't remember Is. That. Not right. Unfortunately correct. Not unfortunately. Fuck you, Derek. And the winner is John. John, come on down. That was you. a random topic. You win. You're just all... An empty busy. Please recycle on your way out. Why don't we quiz you know, bowling all of a sudden? You just, you just got all pissy because you saw It was one I of the random you. topics. I saw your side eye when I said I was autistic. You're just being a dick right now because of that. I didn't, if I was autistic, I would have gotten that. That's there's it's a spectrum, bro. I think you're on the spectrum, bro. Probably. <laughs> Who's autistic? <laughs> All right, let's Is say. Is there some sort of quiz we could do for that? Hang on, hang on. Let's say you're planning a nice dinner party, but could only invite three people. Who would you invite and why? Living or dead. I don't know. Well, just, that was, okay. There's no rules. Wait, okay. you're planning a First dinner question I party. had, too, after I read it was like, ooh. Any three people? John, go. Uh, uh, I, I just want to list off porn now. <laughs> Jesus. What does that what, even mean? I just want to list off porn people. What kind you of want to, you want? So basically, John wants to have a dinner party with porn people. Larry Does that Flynn, include any men or yeah, just yeah. the women? Larry Flynn, uh, Mandingo, and uh, all men porn stars. And uh, no, no, and uh, Candy White. Katie White. Candy White. Jesus Christ! I, I talk about and that. a white Candy. Candy White. Her name is Candy White. Candy White. Yeah, never heard of her. I'm, Lane. Uh, you will soon. I'll be texting. Um, I would go. <laughs> Uh, Nikola Tessa has to be one of Tesla. them. God, Tesla. God, you autistic fuck. <laughs> I'm not fucking... Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. And uh, you gotta do Lincoln. Oh, shut up. And Nerd. John Lennon. Nerd. Yeah. Lincoln and John Lennon. Yeah, yeah, Tesla, oh yeah. Lincoln, and John Abraham? Okay. Yeah, we know his first name, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? It's gonna be some football players. Did you go? He didn't go. Why wouldn't I pick you two? Fuck It's you. three. It's three. You gotta pick three. Dan, obviously. And Dan. Oh, yeah. Dan. 
you, you we, we can just do that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Are you inviting us to dinner, Derek? Yes. <laughs> I'm making homemade pizza. You guys want to come over? <clears throat> yeah, maybe. What kind of pizza are you making? Oh, good pizza, crust. Uh, movie, I'm clear. <coughs> movie bonfire at my place at some point this fall. This fall. Oh, okay. I just, it's, I, I just want to tell you that before I forget because I will forget. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have to give me a date because. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're talking about the whole D and D group and everybody, you know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, you you weren't for the last party. Anyway, I'm just we want to try to put that together for this fall. Um, Some Halloween movies and shit. Well, we gotta watch from the hotel. All right, all right. I got a question yeah. for you. Yeah. Have you ever wondered what the speed of lightning would be if it didn't zigzag? So, do you think if it didn't zigzag, would it be even faster? Yes. Well, yeah. What? what? Run in a straight line, then run zigzag. It's obvious. You think so? How much? Faster I don't think so, though, because like. Difference? Like is it, it takes it, the path it takes because that's where the other opposite electrons are at. Yeah, it takes its least path of resistance. Well, that's but it's a, following. Well, that's, there's different like things. Well, where negative at, or positive atmosphere. energy pockets are at. But that's no, oh, no, because if it were straight, that's where it would be. But it doesn't go straight. Yeah, because yeah, it's yes. at the fastest. No one knows how electricity no, no. and electrons yes, actually but move. But it would not go straight at all ever if it weren't there. I'm saying it, it only reason it's hitting the so ground. So if, if for some reason following. it didn't follow that pattern and it went perfectly straight, then yes, I guess I would assume it would be. The, yeah, it's, perfectly it's straight a fractal because it's, though because it's following. I, I, I'm curious if this is something people have actually figured out something on. It's a fractal though, so it's going to move just as fast because it has a pattern. It knows it, you know. No, a straight line could slow down. No. Yeah. No way. No way. That makes any sense. Wait a second. No, I don't agree. Or I don't even want to entertain because... Because I'm right. It was, it's a fractal. There's la- laser it's faster. Aliens. It's Jewish space it was, It's lasers. a pattern, you know? No, it's not. Yes. Yes. Th- I mean, yes and no. There's a pattern it can follow. It chooses its own destiny. It's it's alive. God. It's electricity, dude. God it's damn just it. fucking moving electrons. No. That's not how that works. <laughs> <clears throat> no one knows how electricity works. <laughs> that is the de- try Nikola to- Tesla did. That's why you want to have dinner yeah, with yes. them. Yes, try to de- try to define so electricity. It. Can you define how? Yes, that's been what? a known thing for no. since the invention no, but, but, but of electricity. Like how? How, how? But how does it work? And they're like, oh yeah, we do positives and negatives. But but why? But how? I'm not a quantum physicist. I don't know. Exactly. I can't tell you how exactly. And you move. even ask the quantum people. But they why can't they move? Is that? If you get into quantum, it gets even more confusing because the shit's like that's over here connects to shit okay. that's way okay. over there. You know? Yeah. We're not. I do not want to get into quantum entanglement right now because that is not something we can discuss in any. Obviously not. Way. But it, it so does there move. are different types of lightning bolts, and they move at different speeds. I can tell you that right now. Oh, like oh, lightning bolts like farts. They're, well, it depends on, like, the kind of storm that it's probably coming out of, you know? True, yeah. Different pressures and... It does zigzag because it is, for its medium, the path of least resistance. Yeah. It's fractally. No, because if you take that same path and just make it straight, it will be there faster. But it doesn't happen it's that way. Then it would go... Travel. Then it would be But there. I guess that is the question. If it went straight. Yes. It's moving at damn near the speed of light, so... What if it went from point A to point B faster? But I don't know. Is that something we could even measure? Oh no, it's all theoretical because it doesn't ever happen. It, it doesn't. Why would you? Why doesn't it move that way? Just said because that's where the electrons are. There are pa- path they're, of least resistance. Mat- I haven't found any so, so here's the here's, question. Here's the real question: Why do we have our fucking power lines in straight lines? If electricity moves like lightning. Oh, lighten. my fucking God. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Derek, tell me what you're reading about it. Just how it moves through the atmosphere. It doesn't go straight. Yeah. Electricity is Six a X. fucking complicated bitch. And I call a lot of things bitches, but... Hey, John, when you're peeing in there, can you please sit down? <laughs> 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 fuck because you're worried about it being all over the shit oh my god dude i swear to god dan pissed all over that fucking toilet 
<laughs> he was the only person to piss during the show, and it was. And I literally cleaned it right before you guys came over, and it has got piss running down the side of it. A lot of piss. <gasps> Oh man! Like, I have a feeling he brought his phone with him and just sat there and dicked around on his phone and didn't aim. <laughs> All right, it's possible. We we both know how Dan has lived in the past. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, where would you like to live if you could live anywhere? Oh, I want to live out in the wilderness. In a, in a like a if I could live anywhere in like a. Top of a tree, redwood forest. In a tree house. Oh, yeah. Or a suspended tent. Um, no, I would like... I don't want a canvas. Tent. Have you seen those? The suspended tents you can get? Yeah, that's like for fucking uh, camping Crazy people. and shit. <laughs> Crazy people. Well, <clears throat> anyone that lives in a tree the is a little The bears won't crazy. get us up here. Anyone that lives in a tree is a little crazy, right? Probably. I mean, I had a tree house. I mean, it just depends. Is like everything taken care of. I'm just like living in a tree house and then I got food and shit. Where are you or, getting food from? I don't know. Do I have to like go out and farm or just like live Forage. in this wilderness by myself and shit? That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Fucking or at least a nice fucking tr- house out in the trees, you know? In the trees. Yep. Among among trees. Woods. If you could live anywhere, John, you call it would woods. Be. We, we've already done this. The thing. Said forest. We have not talked about this. New Would you live in space if you could? Um, no. No or gra- Mars? No uh, gravity. Maybe it's in the future. Mars is terraformed. Tell me what Mars has. It's terraformed, so it's got terraforms. Is there a library? <sighs> yeah, there's a library. Lane! I think I, I think I'm about to go to la biblioteca. I think Lane's too fucked up to... What are this. you talking about? What else does it have? Like a shopping mall and shit, you know? It's... Mars, it's a destination. Yeah, People shit. go there and get all sorts of crazy, oh, good. like, three, get yeah, your Mars fucking smut. But is there, like, a, a <laughs> resort? That's what I want to know. Like some sort of fucking casino and shit? I'm sure eventually. We're talking about tomorrow. Did you know, speaking of electricity and no. lightning and stuff, that there is a the big <laughs> scar on Mars, and scientists have postulated on what they think it is, and there's kind of a... Maybe not a general consensus, but that it's natural. But the pattern of it is super zigzaggy, and it follows the exact patterns you would get if you were using electricity to, like, hit stuff and cause damage to. So they've done, like, these projects where they've taken bolts of stuff that they're making in a lab, and it creates the exact same pattern as the scar. Not the exact same pattern, but the same type of looking pattern. John's just lost in a moth right now. <laughs> I, I so, hear you. I but they think some people in the alien community believe that we have been in a battle with Mars and it's been a cyclical thing that keeps happening over we and over again. We're laser both worlds, beams or lightning like, bolts? Amer- er, Americans. <laughs> Earthlings travel to Mars, terraform it or whatever. Make it happen. American spirit, at least. Yeah, sure. Uncle <laughs> Sam's got their back. And then they kind of like America separating from England. You know, there's a war, and that the, uh, Earth put that scar in there with a special lightning ray gun for all intents and purposes. Hmm. Uh, but they both end up destroying each other, have to start back over again. There's a whole theory about that. I mean, they think that Mars could have had liquid lo- water on, in um, human lifetime. They still you think, know? some people believe that still has some liquid water underneath the surface. Well, yeah, underneath the surface for sure. Um, I've seen other theories about how Mars got its scar, about how um, on the other side, there's like a big mountain range and shit. And if they do... Like, Olympus <clears throat> Mars, the uh, galaxy's largest mountain. Yeah, if they do like a fucking uh, asteroid that hit Mars or whatever from like kind of like the angle or whatever... It went through the planet or whatever, caused the scars on the one side, like and the mountains come out. It sounds like a cartoon. Hit one side, the other side comes out. Uh, a little bit, oh, but I mean, scale. like that's kind of like the way planets work, though. You know, there's a if you oh. if you break the inner mantle, the, that mantle is gonna fucking you know push out on the other side. No one knows how the inner I don't Earth think works you're either. That off of- no Anything. one, no one knows how the ac- actual, you know, shit responds to a fucking huge asteroid hitting it. It wouldn't go through it like a cartoon. No, it doesn't go through it. But like, it's a what's the first law of Newton? 
any object in motion has an effect on another object in motion. <laughs> I thought it was thou shalt eat the fig. <laughs> oh it's, it's, that's not the exact thing. You're so close twice, but wrong both. <laughs> what the fuck? Can an I object, get a clarification, object, Derek? An object there, in know, motion stays equal, in but opposite reaction. Is I think uh, is that what yeah, you're going for? I, you know what I meant. Like everything, uh, everything has a reaction. Everything, like you know, causes. There's something. motion in the ocean, Brad. Yeah, dude. Fucking asteroid hits one side it's of the planet. Not, something it's else not is gonna happen on the other side. Yo, it has to be your asteroid. Well, if you twist your ankle on that asteroid, well, what if she sues you? She can sue me. It's not. It's not God's asteroid. It's, it's All right. What's your favorite animal? Um, <laughs> real and make believe to eat. Yeah. What kind of animal are we talking about here? Well, mine would probably be a. I don't know. I've always loved turtles. To eat and then a turtle? dragon. We, yeah. we we literally had this discussion like two weeks ago about animals. Yes, and you said the same thing, and I said a liger. What did I you say? You said, I don't know, a fuck horse. I man, know. I like alligators, man. I've always liked alligators. Fuck you up. And they live forever. Do you believe the government hides technology information from the public? Yes. That is a known... Duh. Thing. Yeah. I get what we've already talked uh, about. Do we need to talk about that, Derek? You want to go into how they're doing it? I don't know. I'm just on a random topic generator like you guys requested. Uh, what do you think about the FBI? What do I think about the FBI? What don't I think about the FBI? You know what? I'll tell you this. I want to believe. Oh, that kind of thing. The FBI is not an X-Files. No, they're not. I wish, though. No Next. opinion? No? Okay, okay. Which is worse, the CIA or the FBI? They're both horrific. Which is worse? CIA, because they topple foreign governments. Yeah, most likely. Look at Venezuela. Yeah. What about uh, the NSA? That's national security. I don't know. That's what they say. It's also spying on us. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they're listening to this right now. Mm, Yeah, well, it's also posted. (laughs) Holy shit. You you post this? (laughs) Yeah, if you didn't know. (laughs) I thought... All right. What's next? Uh, I don't know. You keep next? bitching about everything I ask. I'm not bitching. It's twice. I did it twice. Who would you really like to just punch in the face, John? How about that question? Oh, maybe you right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Nikola Tessa. Abraham <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck. Just when I thought you were too fucked up to do this podcast. John. You totally redeemed yourself. Derek. Dan. All of you guys. Oh, definitely. Fuck. Oh, you don't have anyone else? You you don't want to punch anyone? Ooh, is there a flavor of ice cream you wish existed? No. (laughs) Well, they have like that bacon ice cream. I just thought about bacon, but they got to have bacon. They They have bacon bacon ice cream. They have everything. Years ago? The Burger King bacon sundae? I'm not going to eat fucking bacon. They have bacon vodka. No, the bacon bacon sundae from Burger King 10 years ago. Do you remember that? Bacon sundae? 10 years ago? amazing. So good. Remember back when the bacon craze hit? So bacon with the baconator. So oh, I love the baconator. God damn, is that still around? Yeah, I, I hope so. so. I hope so. That I might. Oh, I well, I can't have one right now. But why? Because I don't want to eat ten thousand calories in one sitting. Thank you. Yeah, is that why those are you big poops? Used to eat that. Do they're that. amazing. Or multiple large poops. Eight eight pieces of bacon on two packs. <coughs> Well, it's hard to get quality fast food right now anyway, so I wouldn't even fuck with it. Runs is good for burgers. Cheap. Yeah, but recently, though? I haven't been to Runs in a while. Well, that's the thing. Recently, it's hard to find people that give a half a shit to do their job at these fast food places, so most fast food is garbage now, and I don't even bother. I mean, Hasn't it always been a little bit garbage? It's always been garbage. <laughs> no, worse garbage. I'm you just saying. didn't have to wait, you know, 20 now minutes. Now I got whatever. garbage juice in my garbage. Yeah. yeah. He, got, he didn't put the right amount of juice on my garbage. And I'm upset about it. Spill the juice. The wine? You never heard that? Spill the juice! No, have you? I don't know what that is. What is the juice? Spill the juice. If you don't know, I'm not going to fucking tell you about it. All right, fine. Don't tell me. That's how that goes. (laughs) I I don't know. I wanted you to tell me. No, you never told me what flavor of ice cream you wanted. You just <laughs> bitched about bacon. Okay, fine. Uh, brisket ice cream. Ooh, brisket ice cream. No, I don't know. 
brisket. I want a Reuben ice cream. Ooh. Do they make fish flavored ice cream? Oh, my God. I want it because I want to come up with the idea and sell it to the Asian markets. S- fish or sushi? No, I want some like fried walleye ice cream. <laughs> Uh, it was so good. Culver's fried like all catfish ice. head in there. And yeah, no, no, I, oh, fuck catfish. Yeah. Uh, you like walleye, though? Oh, yes, because they're not a bottom feeding fucking fish. Yeah. Well. Walleye's the fish to eat. Walleye and cod are like the fishes that are, that are, you, know, you can get for a fried fast food fried. <sighs> That's a fried fish. I don't, I don't, really, like, I don't really like fish, to tell you the truth. You know, uh-huh. I love fishing. Um, what? How's that? Wait, you don't you like eating the fish you kill? I don't kill them. I kill them. And you fuck them up. Some of them. You fuck them up. I put them back. Yeah, but you. Yeah, but if you just get get hauled to shore with a hook in Dude, your mouth, no you one, fuck no them one's up. eating the carp that I'm catching anyway. You know, or whatever. Yeah, you're still killing a fish though. It's game fish. Yeah, to eat. No, you don't eat some of the fish. You don't eat bass. Yes, you fucking do. You eat all fish. <clears throat> you can, but not all fish. You would eat a carp. You eaten carp before? Carp is basically catfish. There's that one fish they put in sushi that, or eat, maybe eat a sashimi. That if you sashimi uh, sashimi, if I, you don't cut don't it tell correctly, me your you can die from it. Fugu, fugu. Puff, puff, they have an episode oh, of Simpsons fish. about it. Yeah, the puffer yeah. fish. Puffer fish fugu. Shimi is what you said. Sashimi. 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 So the piece of fish is over the rice. Sounds like pronouns. <sighs> God damn it, Plain. <laughs> <laughs> Did the I fucking moth fall out of the sky after that one? Is it sitting right there? Get it. Get it. I can't see it. Yeah, it's the the can is convex. God damn it. No, I got him at the edge. I got okay. him at the edge. He's dead. <sighs> Great. Oh god. Okay. You want me to eat that too? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'd like to see that. No. Not eating fucking moth. <laughs> what would you eat? Dude, would you eat a fish if I caught it? Yeah, it's a fish. The fuck? Yes, yeah. fish is delicious. I'm not. I'm not against eating the fish that I've caught. Um, it's just where you catch them at. Yeah. When I went up to uh, um, Grove Lake, if I would have caught a big enough fish, I would have cooked it and eaten it, but I didn't. So. Okay, I was saying because the bigger the fish, the more bite accumulation. So. Well, sometimes you, you can't keep a fish if it's big enough. Not big enough. True. So. Good point. I should say. Yeah. Mm. That's a fish. Fuck, Derek. Wait, you, you just fuck around Google or you do something? We don't. Uh, I'm not finding any good topics. We've gone okay. through a lot of them. Does the what random the fuck, topic generator? Yeah, I just heard that run out of things too, or what? Oh, uh, there's plenty of things, but it just, just keeps kind of running out of the same randoms. A lot of. What if your wife? Just <laughs> a bunch of shit like that, or things for women. What if your wife shits on you? Just what if your wife type stuff? <laughs> sewer. Okay, so what if your wife shits on you? What's your favorite alcoholic <laughs> drink, beginning with the letter V? There's like one. Oh yeah. What? It's okay, two. If you count Vizzy, vodka, Vizzy, vapor shots. <sighs> Shut up. Have you done a vapor shot before? No. They're refreshing, actually. Yeah, but what? It's like uh, a shot a vodka of alcohol. and literally any mixer. Vanessa's. I think we might be done here, Lane. What do you think? I Vanessa's? Have... I want to have a drink of Vanessa's. I would drink Vanessa. You know what it is! <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole bunch of cocktails. Vampiro, Verde Shots, Vesper Martini, Vodka Gimlet, oh, Vodka Martini, Vodka Sunrise. <laughs> vodka every. Yeah, that was a terrible random because there's only one thing. Well, let's see what's in Vampiro. It's probably blood orange. Duh. It is orange. <laughs> or kind of peachy orange. Oh, shit. I, it's I a found, Mexican sangrita. Uh, I, I, sangrita. I, I found some bottles of Amarillo. It has orange juice, chili peppers. Oh, God. Uh, I found a bottle of, uh, like, two bottles of uh, Blue Syracuse and Amaretto at my parents' house. That was mine from, like, years ago. So, oh, great. I take it in my truck, and I go, well, I don't want to be driving home with open bottles, because they're open bottles. So I put them in, like, the back store, backseat storage, like, under the seat, and I forgot about them. And I go, what the fuck is that smell? And I realized the blue Suricon leaked all over the back seat, like, the back, like, floorboards, whatever. And so now I don't have any blue Suricon. It's now, but all the shit in I my don't even know what that storage is. It's, like, all sticky. It's a liqueur. Sounds awful. 
No, it's very good. That's how you make blue milk. I was going to make blue milk. That's why I brought it home. Well, you shouldn't have left it in the fucking Well, I forgot storage. about it. Well, <sighs> you get what you get. I think. Are you out of Vizzy's? No. <clears throat> Do you want one? Well, it's either I have a Vizzy or this podcast is over. I think you're done. Oh, I'm not allowed to have a Vizzy. No, I think you're done with the podcast. You can't form a complete sentence. I almost didn't just there, so I shouldn't be talking. <laughs> What's your that pro- was John. I'm D. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lane. Fuck off. Fuck you, John. Oh. Trashy.